Hello, guys. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, guys. Hopefully, you guys are feeling absolutely fantastic today on this great, amazing Monday. Hope you guys are doing good today, guys. Hope you guys are doing absolutely great, obviously. Thank you, Hand Von Doom, for the seven months. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the seven months. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. We'll be streaming three hours instead of five. Hey, okay, lately, dude, if you look at the if you look at the past streams, the little while. Okay, I've been streaming a little bit longer than five hours, okay? Come on, man. Unbelievable. But yeah, guys, we're a little bit of a shorter stream today, guys. I've been there's been a lot of things I've <laughs> I've been have to do uh, IRL, a lot of IRL aggro. So hopefully you guys um don't mind that too much. Medium shirt, we like it. It's the same shirt I always wear. I don't I don't know. Is I don't know this shirt. That's how it goes, man. I don't know. Uh, maybe I need to buy new shirts. I'm not sure. Devier, thank you for the four months. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully, you're doing great as well. Thank you so much, man. Look at Jack. Yeah, we're... Ugh, look at that. We're so jacked. <laughs> uh, can you high-five the queen? I can't, man. I'm sorry, man. He has a drawer full of those shirts. It's just a bunch of shirts, man. I've just been doing the same ones I've always been doing, right? But yeah, as I said, guys, we're going to be doing a little bit of a shorter stream today. As I, I actually do... I was actually considering not even streaming today because I'm so behind on things and there's a lot of um there's been a lot of IRL acro lately that I gotta take care of. But I figured let's just do a little comfy chill short stream instead of no stream at all, right? So that's what we're doing today, guys. Hopefully, yeah, that's quite alright. Uh do this IRL. Don't think anyone wants to see that. Wish me luck at my doctor's appointment today. Oh, I wish you good luck, MK. Hopefully you you nail it. Is that a thing? Hopefully you nailed it. <laughs> Hopefully you'll nail it, man. That's badass. Who's here, chat? Wait, why am I up here? Who's here, chat? Hello! Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys. MK is here. What's up, Bob the Viewer? What's up, C? Thank you to see you tomorrow. What's up, Baltram? What's up, Bertie? What's up, MK? What's up, Patriarch? What's up, Fwanks? What's up, Swoopay? Trexpo? Who acts Little Hank? Sebastian? Michael Hawk? What is up, Bob the Viewer? Headshot is here. Professor? What's up, Slurbo? What's up, Steven? What's up, Destinies? What's up, Yaojik? What's up, The Muncher? CJ? Turtle Kick W? What is up, to Hawaiian T shirt? Blue Food Gaming? What's up, Andrew? Small Change Wedge? Bamser Mates? We got Giant Buckethead? Real Big? What is up, to Nico? Hopefully doing great today. Nosorino? MJ's? What's up, Moto Clash, Ashare, DJ Dick, what is up, Chill Dose, Dr. Cam, what's up, Cam, how are you doing, Duke Duck, obviously, Boost is here, what is up to everybody who's here, SoCal Batfish, Cactus Glasses, what is up to Heine, Mine, Mine, what's up, Nasty Fury Warrior, Bobus, Dernus, first time chatter, sarcastic ape, are we guys doing great, the Great Dane, obviously, as well, so yeah, uh, shorter stream today, guys, that we normally do, but uh, stream nonetheless, we are going to be doing a little bit of React in the beginning. I have a few videos, like, like kind of two-ish VAL videos I want to watch with y'all. And I also want to watch the... What, what episode are we now on the on the Swacked Victus? Like the Uber Danger thing? I think we're the fourth episode of that. So we'll do some WoW Reacts. And we're going to... I want to do a little BFD on my Shaman. And I think we're going to test out and try out that game that Anbani has made. He's made like a new... I think it's a game with Asmogul or some shit like that. It's like some sort of like Dark Souls game that he made. So uh, we're going to give that a try and it should be great. Can you wear the goose hat while you react? I, I can't really wear it because it kind of chokes me a little bit when I have it on. So I, I don't think we're going to do that today. Uh, I got my cup of tea here, chat. It's like some sort of a turmeric tea. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. You're going to play Illispec? Yeah, so we'll do a little bit of react. Then we'll do the uh, BFT and the Shaman. And uh, then we're going to watch that Bonnie video and play the Bonnie game, I think. So, kind of short stream today, guys. Just letting you all know, obviously. Normally, I do 10-hour streams every single day. But today's going to be a little bit of a shorter one, eh? So, it goes. Season of oh, what the heck? Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I, I wanted to do, like, a bunch of Pal World grind as well and get that going. But not today. Not today. I'm sorry about that, Chad. It is what it is. Okay, so we'll do it some other day. No problem, sir. Happy to see you live anyways. Yeah, for me, it was like either like no stream at all or we do a little stream at least, right? So that's it. 10 hour streams, any starts, variety, the 12 hour mark. I'm not I'm not built like any man. Yo, what's up, Vito Victor? Thank you for the 11 months, man. Appreciate it, that dude. Uh, what's up? Almost a year already since Glob Incident. THX for the year of great what? content. Has it really been that long, Vito? 
That is insane. Yo, thank you for the 11 months. Do I know someone called Matthias? Uh, I don't really think so. Maybe I do. I mean, dude, I'm from Denmark. I probably know someone called Matthias because it's a Danish name. I can't really think of any on the top of my head, though. Uh, Dal Polar, thank you for the 25 months. Hopefully, you're doing great as well. Matthias Shaw. I mean, Matthias. We say Matthias in Denmark. It's, it's a Danish name. I don't know. We just say Matthias. I know someone named that. I probably do know, know someone named that. I just can't think of any any right now. Uh, while, thank you for the Woo. two months. Appreciate that as well. Thank you very much. Matthias. Yeah, Matthias. Yeah, Matthias. That's how we say it. Uh, what do you think will win the Super Bowl? I don't know who's playing in the Super Bowl. Either of the two teams. It's two teams that are playing, right? I don't know. I don't know. I've never... <laughs> I've never watched the Super Bowl. I'm sorry. Taylor Swift will win. I think so too, man. If she's gonna be uh, doing a concert there, she'll definitely win it for sure. Bro, I don't know, man. I I think it's two teams that plays, right? Some shit like that. I actually don't even know. Taylor Swift is in the Super Bowl. I mean, then she's gonna win for sure, man. Three hours today or more. Ah, uh, okay. Be realistic, chat. Probably expect like a three to four hour stream today, okay? Just saying it now, okay? Getting it out of the way. It is what it is, okay? Shorter one today, but short but sweet. Isn't that what we say? I'm thinking about a petition to remove Nordic status from Denmark. Denmark is basically German, hence continental European. I don't know what the hell you're on about, man. What the fuck is that even supposed to mean, dude? So longer than usual? What the hell is that supposed to mean? What do you mean? Bro? Okay, man. Uh, is, is that how we're starting today, guys? What the f that? What the hell is that supposed to mean, dude? Jesus Christ, man! Unbelievable! <laughs> God damn, dude! What the hell? Drip check? I'm not that drippy today, man. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm just look. I'm wearing a sh t shirt, and I'm wearing some uh things, and I'm wearing some green socks. Is that good? Is that a good? You guys like to drip? Is that nice? That green socks and, and, and a t-shirt and that's it? Yeah, yeah, is that nice? Okay, chat. I think we're gonna do something. Cringe socks. Bro, how could you tell? Your pants don't fit? No pants fucking fit me, man. Okay, because I'm really tall. Look, it's the Grinch. Yeah. Great movie, by the way. Fantastic movie, guys. Absolutely, absolutely amazing, dude. Okay, that's how it goes, dude. All right. Regardless, though, we're going to blast it, boys. Okay, we're going to blast it. Uh, how tall am I? Uh, I'm 194, man. 6'4", dude. That's how it goes. Um, you should do a saw challenge where you and all your tunes see who can do the best TPS. Where you should do a saw challenge where you run all your tunes and see who does the best TPS. My warrior. It, it, it's not even... It, it, dude, it's, <laughs> it's not even going to be a competition, man. My warrior will be, do, do the best TPS. It's not even close, okay? Uh, who do you think? When do you when do you think any info on phase two is coming? Well, we know when phase two is coming out. It's coming out on the, February the eighth. That's it. That's that's when it's coming out. That's when it's uh, been announced, right? What about the warrior without wind fury? Well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not gonna play the warrior without wind fury, right? So that that won't happen. I mean, you could say the same thing the rogue. But what about the rogue without wind fury, right? Because that's just kind of how the group comms are, right? It's not even close. The answer will always be Warrior. Exactly. It, whenever there's about DPS, it's always Warrior, man. That's just how it goes, dude. The content of Phase 2 will be announced when Phase 2 starts. Oh, you mean the actual content of Phase 2, not like when it comes out. I mean, I, I kind of hope they don't do anything. I, I hope... I don't, I don't hope we get any news. I, I don't know why... I guess it's because people want to know, like, what they're playing and stuff like that for SOD, because they want to, like, play the stuff that's the, that's the best. But I really hope they don't do any, like, you know, like, you know, leaks or any, like, rune informations or anything like that. Just play whatever you want, man. You know, play whatever you want and then take it as it goes. Season of data mine. I like that it's, like, if you don't know anything. I think that makes it more exciting in a way, right? Did you see the rune of the Banshee name was found for priests? I, I haven't looked up any, like, uh, leaks or anything like that currently. You doing a 5 BFT today? What's up? Uh, I'm not doing it today, Rake. I I'm sorry. I, I wanted to do stuff like that today, but I got a little bit... Uh, yeah, I, I had, I had a, a lot of IRL stuff come up, so I just didn't... Yeah, not today, man. Normal raid size? It's a 10-man, man. 10-man, man? man? It's a 10-man man, man. Yeah, 10-man. 
Okay, regardless though, uh, let's see what this is, guys. There's a massive problem with Season of Discovery. What is this? Season of Discovery has been awesome yep. so far. I agree. I've honestly enjoyed every moment discovering new runes mm -hmm. and making new friends. It gives me that oh, magical feeling I haven't felt in oh, a long time. Like when WoW first came out back in the day. Yeah. However, there's one major glaring problem. What's that? Phase 1 hasn't oh. lasted long enough. I work three what? jobs. I come home to a wife and seven kids. Bro. And I feel like I've fallen behind. Okay. I'm only level 12. And I haven't even done BFD yet. I haven't stepped foot in RFC either. I think it's unfair Whoa. to advertise Season of Discovery as a casual experience oh, and on. not cater to the casual players. They really need to extend Phase 1 oh, for dude. another three months at least three to give months. me a chance to catch up. And additionally, extend phase two to last six months minimum. Mm -hmm. This will give players like myself a chance to play the game and not feel left behind. Yeah. It's worth remembering, we all pay a subscription. So Dude, it, it is rough, honestly, when you have four wives and ten kids. How are you supposed to be catching up and do a BFD when you only have ten minutes to play per day? You can literally only play like 10 minutes before bed every evening. I think we should definitely let, let phase two. You know what? Just let phase two last the entire rest of the year. How about that? We, we're just going to be stuck at level 40 for like half a year. That, that seems good to me. All of our voices deserve right. to be heard. That's why I plan to create a petition to wow. extend the phases of Season of Discovery <laughs> so it's fair for all of us. I'd also love to see a level 40 raid-ready boost no. in the next phase That's too because far. I really don't have time to level ults. I'd also love to see the WoW token oh, really? because okay. I don't have time to grind gold. How else will I catch up financially? If Blizzard oh, don't God. listen to my ideas, then Season of Discovery is bound to fail mm -hmm. eventually. And then, the only thing left that can save Classic what is, that? is Cataclysm. Oh! I mean, that's an ultra our cataclysm, but god damn it, dude. Listen, I the, is the phase one too long for me? Personally, I would say yes. I think it is a little bit tad too long, but I think for the overall player base, the length of the phase have been quite okay. I will say so, right? Cataclysm hype, cataclysm hype. I'll try it out. I think it's gonna be fun. One month, month, one month shorter would have been nice. Um. I think just like a few weeks shorter, like two weeks shorter than it was, right? For me personally, but overall, it's it's it was okay length, right? I think phase two is gonna have a lot more content and a lot more stuff to do, right? I feel like it's fine like that. Even the casual Andes is hardly playing anymore. I think a lot of people have reached a point now in WoW where they're kind of just raid logging. Most people have, right? So that that's pretty much it. But overall, it's been pretty decent. Like I've, I haven't had too much to do lately in SOD personally. But it's been fun just doing some other stuff a little bit. And I think it's also good having a little bit of downtime with content so you don't just burn yourself out completely, right? Nixon, what's up, mate? Raid locking is peak endgame? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. I'll link the video here, guys. I will give you guys a link to it right there. Fully agree. I haven't been able to get all my classes to 25 yet. I think we all need at least six months of phase one. Thank you, Asimus. We need the servers back, servers to lock phase one and make us start over in phase two. I think they should extend phase one for six more years. The epic crossbow drop for my hunters to another three months would be nice. Oh, shit. Well, I mean... I think if they keep it kind of similar length, then I'm pretty happy with it, right? I think that's going to be okay. Uh, so, yeah. Are you considering trying Valheim now? Trust me, time will fly. Um, I don't know if I want to commit to another super big long game. Because, like, okay, so it's February 8th that we have Phase 2, obviously, right? Which is in 8, 9, 10 days. It's in 10 days from now, right? Wait, is it 10 days? 
Yeah, I think it's 10 days from now. Which means that, like, you know, I, I still want to kind of... I, I think for me, I want to finish... Um, I want to finish off Pal World. Like, I want to do all the things with Pal World I want to do. And then after that, maybe, like, maybe just some random games. I was thinking about trying out Enshrouded as well. But... I'm not sure if, you know, if it's a good idea going into that game when it's probably a longer playthrough. We'll see. I'm not really sure what the plan is yet, man. I, I really wanted to try out and try out it too, man. But it depends if we commit to, like, doing more Pal World before that or what we do, right? Valher Valheim between Phase 2 and Phase 3 SOD. There's actually a lot of games I want to play. One of those games is it's, it's also Demon Souls, which is which is good, right? And Shrouded would be dope. Yeah, I'm thinking... I'm thinking what the plan is, man. Like, I don't know. Either we commit to, like, doing more and more Pal World and tr trying to fully game that out. Or we give Enshrouded a try, right? And then see if that's that's going to be fun as well. You know? Uh, what's up, uh, Fabian? Good to see you as well. Hopefully you're doing good, dude. Uh, modded Skyrim. I don't really want to play Modded Skyrim right now. Enshrouded is cozy. Plus the Elden Ring DLC is definitely coming out. At some point, it it's definitely is uh, going to come out, right? But we'll see. Like, I I'm not really sure. Maybe, maybe like, we'll finish off uh, Pal World. Maybe we'll try out Enshroud it. It depends what y'all want to see as well. Like, if y'all want to see more of the Pal World stuff, then we can definitely do that, right? Your raid was Demon Souls yesterday. It was a little bit of a demonic raid yesterday, but we did manage to get the Shadow Morn, which is pretty freaking goddamn sick. Not more Pal World. I haven't watched you since you started that. I mean, you don't like Pal World. That's fair enough. You know, that's how it goes. Go on and go. So I slept longer because your stream was longer. That's how it goes. Indie horror games. We'll see what we do, right? Enshrouded is so nice. We could maybe try it out tomorrow. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not able to get Fist of the Fist of the Wild on my Feral yet. Yeah, I, I've only seen that weapon like drop a few times, right? Pal World farms brainless freaking zoomers. I don't know why people hate so much on Pal World. It's a fun game. Maybe it's because it's really popular, so people like being against it. Uh, you know? So yeah, that's how it goes. Um, February 100%. Oh yeah, yeah. I will watch Goose eat cereal. Are you sure about that, man? Are you sure about that? Uh, it's, called, it's cool to be against the mainstream. Fortnite, lol. Okay, I think I got from your message what I wanted from that. Yeah, I think a lot of people just like it, like being against the grain, right? So if a lot of people enjoy something, they want to like not like it because it's cool. People can't understand some things are just not for them. That's fair enough too, right? But yeah, I'm like in between. So tomorrow, there was a, like, that game, uh, Puppy Playtime that came out, like a little horror game. You could say the same thing about WoW. No, you can say the same thing about anything, Heretics. People just like being against what's popular, right? Um, I wanted to play that Puppy Playtime horror game. I think it comes out tomorrow, but I think it's like tomorrow in like the evening or some shit like that. So, either tomorrow we should do, like, um, some Pal World, or we should try out Enshrouded. Whatever you guys think would be more fun, I think we could we could do that, right? It's it's just the WoW community, I swear. No, pe no, people are just like that, though. The WoW community definitely does tend to dislike other stuff a lot, but people are very much like that, right? I watched your VODs for that horror game that's with the stories. They were sick. Oh, you're talking about Fierce to Fathom? I really like horror games a lot. I know horror games are not really what my channel is known for, and people probably don't watch me for horror games, but I personally enjoy enjoy them. Uh, or people hate when every game is hyped up nowadays and is dead in a month. Well, most games aren't meant to be played forever, and I think that is something that's completely fine. Not every game is something you need to play for all eternity forever. Some games you buy, you play them, they were good games, and then you'd stop playing them. I think that's completely fine. There's a ton of great games that I really loved and I really enjoyed played. Um, and when I was done playing them, I was like, okay, that was a good game. I like that, you know? I think that's fine. I think that's fine that some games are like that, right? And you need to play them three years later? Yeah, and then you pick them up, like, yeah, three, four, five years later, and like, shit, dude, I want to do another playthrough of Bloodborne, right? Let's do another Bloodborne playthrough, right? Something like that. Is there going to be another episode of Fears to Fathom? Uh, well, I've played all the episodes that's been out so far, Patriarch. Uh, but whenever they release a new episode, I'll definitely play it. If a game doesn't have people streaming it, then it's dead. Nah, I mean, that's how it's perceived that way, right? Your channel is not known for horror games. You literally main WoW. It's the best horror game there is. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. God damn, man. 
playing the game for 15 years and being miserable a month of having fun in a new game i think i think variety is the spice of life i love world of warcraft and i would definitely want to keep streaming world of warcraft and playing it but i think it's also fun trying different things out right will you ever play the full episode of lies of p surely surely one day i will pal world makes me cry and want to call peter because bean space went keen wait what Oh, it makes you want to cry. I, I, I've enjoyed Pal World. I think it's been fun for what it is, you know. It's been like a fun little uh, little meme game, right? Party Elements is super fun, though. The Lightning Boss. Yeah, there's been a lot, a lot of great stuff like that. Yeah, but the hype is really real. Of course. Yeah, of course. And hype is also like kind of like a snowball, right? Because like once more people get to know about something, then it gets more hype and then more hype and then more hype. And then it's just a snowball effect. That's just really how it goes. It's absolutely incredible. But... It's just a fun game. That's why, right? Uh, regardless, though, um, hold on a second here. There's a video I wanted to watch about this, and then we'll watch the Uber Danger. My stream shall continue until morale improves. What the fuck? A few big streamers are going to play Dungeonborn on Friday. Free playtest, and it's a dark and darker game. Uh, I've never heard about that game before. Um, not before you, you mentioned it right now. So I can't really tell about that. I've been enjoying all the variety lately. It's been a nice break from the WoW hard from the WoW hardcore. I think so too. I I I think I've been enjoying just dibble dabbling into some other games as well. My original my original like thought process with the whole variety right now was to like finish Pal World fully and then try and shroud it. But perhaps we should like try to give and shroud it a try tomorrow instead of keep keeping on the Pal World grind. I'm not sure what the what the consensus is for that for you guys as well. But we'll see. You know, we shall see how it goes, obviously. Tomorrow is puppy time. What does that mean? Uh, which class have you enjoyed the most in SOD so far? Definitely Warrior, I think. Warrior's been my most enjoyable class, personally. What makes Pal World fun for you? Um... It's a great take on a survival game that implements, like, a lot of fun uh, stuff that, like, kind of like a Pokemon game. It's, it's like a Pokemon survival game where you there's, the progression is enjoyable. It's fun running around, like, catching different pals and, like, you know, upgrading them. It's fun doing the boss fights. It's enjoyable doing a survival game, building a base. It's fun. It's just fun. Is it the greatest game ever? No. It's an okay game. You said you were playing a horror game tomorrow. Uh, well, I'm gonna be playing it if it releases tomorrow when I'm streaming. I looked at the, uh, I looked at the Steam page earlier today, and it says it's supposed to release tomorrow at like around 10 p.m. or so. So it, we'll see, right? We'll see if if it's live when I'm playing, then we'll definitely do it. All right, there's a video I wanted to watch here, guys, and we'll we'll do it. Then we shall do it, boys. The dungeon born stuff does look cool. Okay, okay. Pretty cool. Alright, this one says check dungeon born while on Steam. Okay, I'll check it out. Man, I'm really goddamn fried today. <laughs> dungeon born. Peepo hey. This one? Dungeon born is an immersive first person PvP P P P Holy shit, PvP PV PvPVE. Holy crap. Dungeon crawler. Venture so. Hold on. Dungeon Born is an immersive first person PvPVE. <sighs> okay. Dungeon Crawl Adventure Solo or join forces with trusted companions to hunt for treasure, uh, explore omnius dungeons, and battle terrifying monsters and cunning adversaries. Escape before succumbing to darkness and greed. That sounds very much like Dark and Darker for sure. Alright, let's watch the trailer. Dungeon Born. I like the atmosphere a lot. The graphics looks nice too. Good lighting. Okay. I see a mage and I see a knight. Or like a priest, I guess. Cinematic. I like the feel a lot. Okay. It, it does remind me of Diablo. Oh, shoot. 
below SR. Okay. Dude, it looks so similar to Dark. It does look similar to Dark. Oh, shoot. Very loud. Oh, six spells? Bosses? You can attack with the shield. Dude, it looks very similar. There's different directions you can attack as well, I can see. Which I like. And there's the portal out. Okay. That's a lot of that's a lot of juice. Oof! Right at the end. Dude, it's a good quality trailer, though. Shit. Okay. I think we're gonna get the title drum. The dungeon layout looks cool, I like it. Dungeon Born. Play the demo on Steam February the 2nd. Should we try this out? So this is gonna be on Friday the 2nd. Maybe we should give this a try, dude. That sounds pretty cool. It's from a company called uh, Mithril Interactive. The developer and publisher is Mithril Inter Interactive. That looks pretty dope, though. It, it definitely gives me really, really big uh, dark and darker vibes. There's a lot of different spells and stuff like that as well. Anos, thank you for the t gift that's up. And Punchet, thank you for the two months as well. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty sick, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely gonna give this a try for sure. Oh, this is the this is the UI too. Oh, I like the UI. There's different form of like uh, 20 for stuff. months, two years. Wow, Gifty. Gizu. How far we came. Surely you wouldn't skip a two year anniversary message. Bro, right. Shifty. Bro. <laughs> I can't, Shifty. I'm bro, bro, it's just so loud. Bro, it, it's just so fucking loud, okay? Like, if it wasn't that loud, I wouldn't mind it, but it's literally killing my ears, man. Oh my god, Shifty, thank you for the tier 3 24 goddamn months, man. Oh my lord, man. <laughs> this looks really cool, though. Like so, this this cut this this is playable on Friday, dude. Maybe we should give this a try, man. Yeah, I like I like this. I used to play a game a lot back in the day called Age of Chivalry. Maybe some of you guys played it as well. It's a game I used to absolutely love, just blasting with one of my friends, and it gives me very similar vibe to those kind of medieval style games. I really love that, like style of game like kind of medieval fantasy style that's that's definitely my favorite like theme of game i think okay so there's different stats you can get strength agility vitality probably different tiers of like gear as well banishes healing potions it looks like your standard like what what is that game called like the dark and darker type of game meow thank you Nitos, for the 19 months what is that? What's that? It has like a th name, but I can't remember the name of it. Uh, not a good look supporting this game. Why? L roguelike? Yeah, it, it looks pretty cool to me. Extraction shooter? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, like extraction shooter. It's a knockoff. What game is not a knockoff of any other game? Dude, that's what that's literally what games do. You take ideas from games and you make it your own and you build on stuff. Okay, so I can't I can't play I can't play WoW either because EverQuest became became before WoW. Or we can't play Palworld because there's Pokemon. Oh, we can't we can't play Call of Duty because there was like Counter-Strike. You know, it's it, it, every everything like it, it, it's all like similar, man. Everything is, is like there's it, it is what it is, right? It's too similar. Have you played it? 
you can't really make that the decision out of like watching a trailer and a few screenshots. I've never played it. I don't know if it's similar. To a point, yes, but this is a complete ripoff. How? Have you played it? I, I He's saying it's a ripoff of Dark and Darker. That's what I'm assuming, but... Yeah, I've not played it yet. I, I mean, I, I think this looks really cool, personally. I know I'm getting one guide right now, and I probably shouldn't be arguing with him, but... I think it looks really cool. I, I think this looks awesome. Markings... Dip oh, this looks dope. I love this screenshot, actually. It looks really cool. There's some chest as well. Okay, I mean, I, I think we should give it a try, guys. Dark and Darker was literally at court for stealing assets. Yep. <laughs> but let's not, let's not talk about that. I appreciate you responding to just one man's opinion. I mean, that's fair enough. I mean, I, I'm just wondering why you think it's a ripoff when you haven't played it, right? Acting like a ripoff is somehow bad bro hasn't even played Morrowind. Oh my god, Morrowind is a great ass game. But they, they all look similar to these kind of games. Right? They they have like this game has like that kind of it has that kind of like Elder Scrolls, like Skyrim Morrowind, you know, theme of the 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 uh, the style. I, I love this. I think this could be really fun to try. I think we'll play this on Friday, chat. We'll we'll try it. And then we'll make our uh, we'll 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 see what we we, we think about it. I'll uh, I'll link the uh, the Steam page here. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. The theme of the style. To me, this looks like a cool game. I think we should give it a try. I think we should give it a try, for sure. I think that the trailer looks better than the game. Well, how... Why did you quit Paul World, Goo Goo Satch? We could actually still beat Paul World before Friday. Because we have Tuesday, we have Thursday. And if we go super hard, we can definitely beat Paul World before that. Trailers are not meant to show you, like, the gameplay. Trailers are meant to show you, like, this is what we can do, right? This is our budget. This is, like, look, look, look at what we can do, right? It's not like a, like, like that, right? No Paul World, go play WoW. How about I do what I want? I think that's going to be more fun for the stream, right? But we'll do some WoW today, though. Uh, a little bit of WoW today. That's how it goes. Good afternoon, Goose. I just ordered an extra absorbent pack of divers. That's badass, man. Go play WoW. All right, see ya. Have a great day, Jimboni. Uh, you play what makes you happy? I think so, man. Permission to swag out? Your permission is granted, man. If they reset today, or did it reset for you as well? Yeah, we're gonna do a little BFD today. Uh, a little BFD today on the Shaman. Try to get some One year poke champ. Fake yep. Thank you for the 12 months as well. Okay, so we should we should try that out this Friday, chat. I think that's could be that, that would be fun. Alright, so the streams will be as, as follow. Kind of short stream today with the React and WoW stuff. Tomorrow. Oh, I want to play that puppy playtime game as well, though. Flip me in the stick. Man, I guess we'll see. We'll see what we do. But then tomorrow we have, uh... yeah, we have other stuff as well. Have you reacted to Uber Danger's second video? Uh, we're on the fourth video for the Uber Danger stuff. All right, don't you have tomorrow off? No, I have Wednesday off. I'll, I'll still stream tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll still stream tomorrow. Hmm. All right, regardless though, let's see this. Has WoW become overly complicated? What is this? I'm sorry if I'm yapping a lot today, chat. <laughs> this is exactly why I thought about not streaming today, because I'm just, I just got so much shit. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm a yapper today. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm just yapping. I apologize. Uh, all right. Has WoW become overly complicated? It is overly complex today. Oh. WoW is overly complex today, mm. and it's keeping new players from coming into the game. Yeah. Raids require too oh, many God. weak auras and add-ons to help you react to mechanics. Mm -hmm. Classes need a degree in physics, experience in engineering, and the ability to stick a cylinder block into it's a square insane. hole with your eyes closed, somebody else's mm. hand from five feet away without speaking the same language or being from the same planet. It gets a bit too much, and although for long-time players the added level of death is refreshing and mm. challenging, sometimes it can be taken too far so let's see where WoW went too far with the complexity. Starting simple and where okay. most people take their first steps, leveling. leveling. For a new player, all I have to say is, <laughs> good luck. You'll be... I, 
Okay, I want to say, to be fair, I think what they've done with the Exiles Reach for retail is actually quite a good way of making leveling good. I, 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 for a new play, I could imagine as a new player getting into retail, going to Exiles Reach is actually pretty decent. They teach you how to do quests, they de teach you how to do elite stuff, they teach you the dungeons and everything like that. But I can imagine after that, then it gets a little bit much. But I think the Exiles Reach is pretty decent. But I, we'll see what he says about it and we'll figure it out. Leveling after Exiles Reach gets, gets really bad though. This I would tend to agree with. I'm trying to like put it into perspective of a new player coming into the game for the first time. I, as like a WoW veteran, actually, when I did the leveling with Anbani, we did like a duo leveling challenge a while back. And it was actually very confusing what to do, even as a wild wow vet, right? Shoved into Battle for yeah. Azeroth for some reason, which has no transition into the Dragonflight story whatsoever. To be fair, neither mm. the Shadowlands, and this is a byproduct of the devs wanting to get rid of that storyline ASAP. Yeah. But that doesn't make it easier for new people to understand what the hell is going on. That's true. What is World of Warcraft and what does leveling have to do with playing the new expansion? It must be really weird just being thrown into a random story where like you have no idea who any of them are. And it's like you're supposed to follow this narrative while you're leveling, right? At least Dragonflight will be the new new player experience, yeah. Since WoW has soon 20 years of story and expansions, it will be harder and harder to make them relevant. And leveling has stopped being relevant probably in the first expansion, when the game became all about the end game yeah. and max level. So long as end game starts at max level and all the actual content starts at max level, mm -hmm. leveling will only be a means to an end. Which doesn't help people that they acquire close to no benefit from leveling outside maybe the last 10 levels they do in Dragonflight that starts them with the reputations, professions and world exploration and even... I, I also think, yeah... That is me being incredibly generous here. I, I also think that like, yeah, it, it is 90% of endgame, but the problem with WoW is that the people that play WoW are the people that play WoW, right? There's not really many new players that much coming into World of Warcraft anymore because it's just, it's been here for 20 years. So like they kind of make the new expansions for the people that already are invested into the game and the people that are loyal to the game, right? You know, I, I think in a way that's why SOD was a good new change of pace and a lot of people came out in, in to play the game from the outside because it wasn't as overwhelming. Okay, here you have the base version of Classic WoW with a little bit extra, right? Retail is when you get to max level, you make an alt and you start again. That's just World of Warcraft. I mean, that, that's just WoW. That's MMOs in a nutshell, right? You get your character up, you gear him up, you blast it, and you're like, okay, let me make a new character, and you make an alt and you go again. That's just the MMO grind, right? I couldn't bring myself to keep playing retail after Legion. That's fair. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a different experience, right? The best solution for this is something we already have, and that is Exile's Reach. The yeah, alternative to leveling that people can take on their second character onwards. This is good. If this mode can be made to take you from level 1 to 60, or whatever the new expansion's level start will be, while explaining to people what dungeons and raids are, how mm. professions work, how forming groups and getting into guilds is, it can solve a lot of barriers of entry for new people. The current gearing but, system is too complex for new and existing people as oh well. God. You have, dude. It it is really fucking confusing, man. I remember when we were doing Rasageth, like the raid. I can't remember the name of the raid, but the, with the first raid in Dragonflight, bro. It, it, to me, it was confusing personally. Not not this this part here, but like where you had to like buy all the mats and you had to get the mats, you had to forge them and. I don't know. When I played, it was pretty frustrating. And then you had to figure out like the full abyss and like what was not good and good and everything like that. I'm just saying that it can be very overwhelming from a new player. Like, obviously, I kind of understood what was going on because, you know, I played it for a while. But it, it's a lot of convoluted, like, different things that gets really confusing all in all, right? Mac Attack, thank you for the eight months prime. It's not overwhelming at all. Imagine you're a new player coming into World of Warcraft and then you see all of that. I feel that like that would be quite overwhelming. But perhaps I'm 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 a little bit jaded on that. 
I have six total item types from Explorer like to Adventure, Veteran, Champion, Hero, and Myth, and all can be upgraded using currencies, which there are a total of five of. Both the currencies yeah. and the gear can be obtained from multiple sources with higher difficulty rewarding higher item level mm. enabling rewards. The issues start when a lot of this is gated and it also overlaps to yeah. the point where you need a spreadsheet to keep track of. Bro, I remember I had to download some sort of a Uyghara and it was the most weird shit ever. Like, maybe I'm stupid, but gearing in Dragonflight in the at least in the beginning when I played was really confusing. It, it was very weird, man. No matter what you do, you get bags full of currencies and upgrades and you have no idea what to do with them. Yeah, there's just like a billion different currencies and you have no idea what to do with half of them, right? You need a ha ha very high IQ to play retail. I feel like it's kind of the same thing as, as Path of Exile where the majority of people that, path that played the game don't even understand what's going on. They just download like some sort of like a pre-made like spreadsheet or pre-made add-on that's made by some YouTuber. And then they just follow that, right? That's pretty much it. Of it, we made a gearing video to get your all for 80 item level, crib? and yeah. the simplest advice we could give people is to just do plus 18s and bypass 90 percent of the gearing you, issues is though, yeah, but... in terms of item types, currency types, and vault rewards. Mm -hmm. When that is the solution to your gearing system, ignoring the majority of the content, then we have a problem. Mm -hmm. Why not just get rid of the item types entirely and leave currencies in charge of what eye levels you can upgrade? You can make it so only aspect crests get the items to the highest item level and the aspect crest can only be looted from mythic raids and plus 18s or okay. higher. That way, players don't need a subscription to Microsoft Office for their Excel portfolios when it comes to gearing. There's it is just confusing as fuck though, it is. Way too many buttons can compete without add-ons and Uyghurs, the game is lit is really overwhelming, that's why people play SOD. I, I, I do agree, like it is like a big reason why SOD and vanilla is very appealing. Because it's just simple, right? And it's a it's a massive reason why, like, competitive WoW ain't that popular. Because nobody fucking understands what's going on when Peekaboo is shadow... Like, you know, shadow stepping, focus targeting, macroing over to, like, uh, the evoker who's flying to the other side of the map who's like... You don't know what's going on. Like, you can't follow it. Like, when you're watching, like, let's say you're watching CSGO, you know, okay, this guy shoots that guy. He wins. You don't know what what went into like you know arena when peekaboo won what does that take that's true though that's literally true if i i'm a wow player right i played wow for a while i'm not a retail andy but if i watch really high-end arena i have no idea what's going on and then imagine like someone who's trying to get into wow that like has no idea what wow even is it's like what the fuck is happening all right there's no good enough reason that I have to load the same item in three or okay. more. You don't know how one person knew the other person was going to be in CS. What you don't know how one person knew where the other person was going to be in CSGO. Well, they start on the opposite of, uh, side of the map, and one of them is is like you know terrorist. The other guy is kind of terrorist, right? You're getting old, or you don't know which guns are bis in CSGO. Bro, you know, you know a handgun is worse than an assault rifle. You know a shotgun is for close range. You know a snipe. What are you on about? No, that's cooked. Everybody, dude, if you look at a gun, you see a shotgun. You're like, okay, close range. Sniper, long range. Handgun, single shots, right? I, come on. Dude, what the hell, man? No, that's, that. I don't like, that's weird, man variations and use three or more different currencies from two Come to on. three drop locations to reach the end goal of getting the best gear i can item level explorer adventurer oh veteran champion mm -hmm. hero myth flight stones well crest drake crest worm crest aspect crest and these enchanted for crafting oh, professions <laughs> which i'm not even gonna touch too much it's <laughs> just too much and it's not interesting. Yeah, if you want to yeah. raid on heroic or mythic, better be prepared mm -hmm. with a list of add-ons that can make the fights possible or at least not a total pain yeah, in the ass for your group. This has been a back and forth topic for a while. 
People made weak cars to make boss fights more efficient, and the devs made boss yep. fights harder to challenge people using weak cars, which in turn made more complex yep. weak cars to make the fights more efficient, turning future raid designs into even more complex 3D yep. chess problem solving minigames. Not sure who has to give here. But we got to a point where Mythic Militarium was the fight that used the Wii car to showcase the layout of the boss room you were in, where the walls were, and where you had to go depending on what mechanic was happening. When an I mean, Wii Caros is like a... They are really, really, really broken and really strong, obviously, but people will use them if, if they're there, right? If they're there and they're made, then people will use it. You don't need Uyghurs to have to do retail mechanics, that's bait. Yeah, I don't think you need them either, for sure. They do make stuff easier, I will definitely say that. But you don't need them to, like, you know, raid and do stuff like that. Add-on starts telling right. you how to play the game, we have a problem. Obviously, not everyone gets to clear and yeah. raid bosses like Mythic Niltharion, but this is an extreme example of how much of the fight is being played by colors and shapes on your screens and how much by not you making decisions mm. some people could highest difficulty you definitely need them it, I, yeah probably i mean if you really if you want to go really high like the you know mythic rating insane like difficulty then for sure you probably do need them but there's a pretty decent entry of barrier where you can still have uh, an okay time and like not need Uyghurs, i would say so right uh try and finish the mythic without Uyghur, or finish see how your kill keeps you around yeah, if you're trying to like go into like higher, like, you know, rated stuff, you definitely do need Uyghurs and you definitely do need DPM and all those things. Do I play retail anymore? I haven't played since the second patch, since the second raid. I don't know when that was, but since that I haven't played. I don't understand why it's a problem to not understand high level arena without experience. Otherwise, it wouldn't be high level Lamao. No, I'm just saying that even, like, it, it, it's a hard game to get into. And I think that's why a lot of people, there, there's not a lot of new players coming into WoW. But that, that, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad game. It's just hard to understand, right? Likely play the fights without add-ons. But they would have to not play with their friends that cannot do the hmm. same. And sometimes even playing without add-ons or weak cars becomes incredibly inefficient when you have to have reaction times to mechanics that cannot span more than a second long. Okay. That's not necessarily new to gaming, but I don't believe that's something that has a place in WoW. Sure, difficulty can exist, but there has to be a line you draw where that difficulty forces people to use add-ons and weak cars or not be able to engage with the content because they don't have the reaction time of a 17-year-old. The difficulty in raiding was always mostly in getting okay. all 20 or so people to do the same thing, even if it was a simple thing. Nah, man, it's about getting five players to carry the rest, all right? You get five to ten good players, and then they carry the rest of the raid. That's always how it goes. And not as a big of a focus on individual yep. skill level. Which take us to the second big issue with raiding. Too many mechanics, mostly complex ones, put a lot of responsibility on a singular player, which more often than not mm. becomes a do-or-die mechanic where if failed, the entire raid wipes. That is not fun and definitely pushes using external help to be able to assign people to the mechanic and making sure it will be done properly. This highly depends on the difficulty of raids though. If you play normal raid in, in retail, it's like, yeah, you can make, there's obviously some mechanics that are gonna one shot, but like most of it is pretty forgiving, honestly. If you go on heroic and mythic, you definitely do need to be aware of what you're doing though, you know? It's not like we had this in the first raid tier ever as well. I, I, I think, I, I don't necessarily agree with this fully, I would say, right? Raiding is boring. That's subjective, right? We need fewer mechanics. Yeah, th this does definitely seem a little bit catered towards like the casual player versus the, the you know, the hardcore player. Um, but I do think there's definitely something, some truth to the, 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 the matter that WoW is a quite convoluted and complicated game. And it like makes a lot of people not want to get into it because it is quite a lot. But I think that's also just the nature of MMOs. MMOs are extremely complicated. You know, they really are. It's like living a second life, dude. You know what I mean? Heroic and mythic requires efficiency, but LFR and normal doesn't. Yeah, exactly. Like do, do whatever you want, right? Next that target individual players, which if they die, 
wipe the rest of the raid. Mm -hmm. That severely limits new people getting into raiding and adds to the necessity of weak cards and other add-ons being used. Like higher ranks in CSGO? Trexpo, are you still on this CSGO topic? Listen, Trexpo, literally, you cannot tell me that CSGO is, is, is as confusing to a new player that has never seen the game as WoW 3v3 Arena. Are you insane? CSGO, two teams, shoot guns, easy clap. Three, good luck explaining 3v3 Arena what's going on to people that's never seen it before. It's not as confusing, but you can't compare two different genres. I just did. It's two games, and both of those games have a competitive scene. Is that competitive scene hard to get into as a new player trying to understand the game? You know? Constant scaling content is fun, but added affixes that forces you to play a different game is not. And I'm talking about situations- CS- CS- Sorry. Counter-Strike is just- is just straightforward what you have to do. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It's easy as a spectator to- to watch Counter-Strike for the first time and be like, Oh, okay, this guy shot that guy. He won. What like what what about a new player, a new person that's trying to get into WoW Arena watching a you know a, a AWC or whatever the hell like or Mythic Plus? T try explaining to them what's going on and what's the reason why Jinji won there, you know? Added affixes that forces you to play a different yeah. game is not. And I'm talking about situations where you have to do your rotation for your class and then it's stop confusing. engaging yeah. with the pack or your party and then swap your attention to this other thing instead. Inherently, that's not really bad, but also mm. not the reason I am here in the dungeon, I mean. If I am a DPS, I am there to kill monsters, not ruin my rotation synergy, dash across the yep. room to handle this one thing that's an obstacle, then go back to what I was doing. If it's a dungeon mechanic, that's fine, but when you add affixes on top of those dungeon mechanics already, it mm. stops being fun and becomes an extra layer of mechanics I need to handle. It's not about skill here, it's not hard to dispel an afflicted ghost. It okay, this is kind of cooked. I, I think it's kind of cooked. I, I don't agree with this. I, I, I do agree that affixes can be a pain in the butt, but saying that it's not about skill is kind of like a little bit, a little bit weird, I think. Like, dealing with the affixes is literally about skill. Like, like, dude, you, it really is. For sure. It's, however, annoying when I have to change my talent. It's how you skill. Yeah, the, the, the higher you can... Because, like, the lower keys you do, there's just not a lot of affixes, right? Thanks, Brands. In a self-harming way to bring a utility that wasn't made Some naturally dumb, available yeah. to me by the spec's design and use it in the middle of my potion blood less than three seconds left of my snapshot window, completely mm. gimping my damage performance for the next two minutes, which is the main reason I am here to begin with. I am uh -huh. all for dungeons being designed so classes can use their utility kits to handle problems, but the way these problems are implemented feel mm. forced and unnatural, causing obligatory friction that a lot of people like to classify as difficulty with a just get good solution. Play Cuphead, guy. Do the Valkyries in God of War on the highest difficulty, if you want. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I have, I don't really agree with this personally. I I think he just doesn't like affixes and he doesn't like the difficulty of it. I I think some affixes in Mythic Plus can be very very annoying, but saying that it doesn't require skill, I, I definitely do not agree with that, dude. It, it's hard dealing with four different affixes while trying to time a key, while trying to like, you know, make sure you have the, the right stuff. Want to skill yeah. challenge. Now let me do my death mark window on my assassination rogue in peace. Incorporeal and afflicted are some of the worst affixes added and the best yeah. examples for this. Although some boring and though. gatekeeping, fortified, tyrannical, bursting, bolstering, raging are mostly fine. Mm -hmm. Still needs some look at, of course, as all affixes do, but better than the stop healing your party, stop dispelling poisons from your party, and deal with this other non-dungeon thing instead. Dispels it's get ridiculous it, on bosses like the Throne of the Tides Shaman boss, when you have afflicted to be dispelled and you are already juggling one dispel on your party for one of the two Flame Shock debuffs. But, but that's a difficulty though. That, that, that's the difficulty, right? That's how it gets harder. And that's how you push those keys harder and harder, like bigger and bigger, you know?
This is good. You probably don't come to get ranks where it's responded to go to the same as wow. Casual players. It's the same. I really no. I don't want to like keep talking about the CS:GO thing. I I really I I. <laughs> what I'm trying to say with the CS:GO argument is that I'm just trying to say. It is easier to understand what's happening in a CSGO competitive match than it is in a World of Warcraft arena 3v3 at the highest level. Like, it, it, it really is. It's, it's difficult understanding what's happening in high-level arena. Like, I, dude, there's no shot. If I'm watching someone play arena at the highest level, I have no idea what the hell is happening. If I'm watching a CSGO match, I'm st I still know, okay, this, you know, I still kind of know what's going on. It's easier to spectate. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean that I'm not saying that I'm playing it. You know, I'm not playing CSGO at the highest level, obviously, you know, but it's just not good. It's not a good watching game, right? In that regard. Not yeah. healing the other dispel because you don't have two dispels and a third unexpected dispel pops and nobody in the party mm. can handle it. This limits the composition of groups that can clear the content in that very moment. Some of these affixes are annoying in low keys, making me feel like I have to stop playing WoW and do them instead. And on higher okay. keys, it makes classes like evokers mandatory to cover the lack of utility other classes have or don't have for their gatekeeping classes and specs from clearing higher content in a world where we want players to feel like their spec contributes to the value of the group. Okay. Overall, affixes are a problem, but for the sake of the video, we will only talk about the complicated part, which ends up as an annoyance and not a fun obstacle to overcome for a 2 in 5 chances of looting 1 in 9 items at the end of the dungeon if you get it in time. For I think that's kind of subjective though, if you enjoy affixes or not. I think some affixes are definitely bullshit. Like, obviously, but I, I don't agree with that overall take. For the most part, specs are getting better and better at being designed and okay. feeling nice to play, but the fact that all specs require guides to play properly is still <laughs> bad. It is a touchy line between death and simple since not one formula is 100% mm -hmm. correct, but there are outliers that take it too far. Arcane Mage, for example, has a oh, complex God. rotation that's incredibly pretentious about who you target, and how you target, yeah. what buttons you press, wild, and man. how that's many of them you press. Combat often forces you out of your rotation and nukes your performance. If we're going to have complex specs, for which Jesus. I am an advocate, then we have to make them less punished by combat design to the point of people being better off respecking to mm. alternatives. Brewmaster. Yeah, I mean, listen, dude. There is extremes on both sides of this. I played an arms warrior in Shadowlands. My rotation was to press Condemn. That was it. I pressed my cooldowns and I spammed Condemn. That was the entire rotation. And I fucking loved it. So you can pl you can still play stuff that doesn't require that super, you know, crazy stuff to like do well. But obviously, yeah, most classes nowadays are more, you know, they are more complicated because... You know, you gotta add more stuff eventually to the game, right? Or else it's just like kind of stalemates. Hard to play and rewarding at the same time, which is yeah. fine, but the button bloat is too much. A lot of the buttons don't have a lot to do with the spec tanking. You can be testy about every bit of tiny DR mm. you get, but with that logic, you can justify adding infinite buttons so long as they give a tiny bit of tankiness. It I I personally don't like the crazy, insane billion buttons you gotta press. I, I, I like less. I think less is more when it comes to that. But that's my personal preference with it. That That's how I see it. It needs to have impactful yeah. buttons that function with the kit without turning the spec into a glorified DPS. Mm. I'm talking about you, Jade Wind. Outlaw Rogue, one of the funnest specs in the game as of today. I love casting Roll the Bones and having a weird RNG mechanic where like, oh, if I get the good rolls, I can do damage. If I get bad rolls, I don't do shit. I love just playing a casino spec, dude. First windows and spammy abilities is what WoW needs a bit more of, but I would God. be lying to say that this doesn't get exhausting after a while. I don't like this spec. Not sure how to look at this particular one. 
I love the spec and it is one of my mains at oh, the moment enough. because Subjective. it plays the way it does. But I cannot help but acknowledge that mechanically not everyone can play Outlaw and maybe that's okay. We should yeah. have specs that even button mashers like me can enjoy while Assassination is a nicer, slower counterpart for rogue lovers that don't want Carpal Tunnel. But yeah. I think there should be options, and I think that's fair. Why do you hate this guy? I don't hate him. I just, I, I'm just trying to like argue for what I, I think, right, and stuff like that. Um, BM Hunter press two buttons to be top DPS. I think it's good that there's different specs for different people, though, right? So you can play whatever you enjoy. At that point, assassination needs to be close to evenly balanced, so people don't feel forced to play outlaw, which unfortunately yeah, isn't the case. See. So people do feel forced to play outlaw, a spec that some of us cannot actually play. Mm -hmm. And these specs aside, we have too many buffs and procs across the board. <laughs> oh, it shit. gets hard to keep track of everything that happens with your spec when there aren't enough rows to display your buffs. This gets translated into combat when you have 100 damage events from hits of a few hundred damage yeah. each to crits of 700k. It MMOs are confusing. It, 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 that's just what it is. That's why... Oh my god, I'm gonna get into this again. That's why there's not a lot of MMOs in, like, esports. Because it's just too confusing to watch. It's, it's very confusing, man. It doesn't make sense, numbers-wise, for my character to do 200k DPS, but still have that hits of 3,000 or less. What even are numbers at this point? Trinkets, files, weapons, all have minor damage procs. Every spec deals a gazillion little damage events that mm. fill the screen with numbers. This like numbers. makes numbers pointless, makes the screen busy and exhausting <laughs> to look at. One of the big reasons people prefer classic, I would imagine, is big hits when you press big buttons. Yeah, numbers matter. Like wow, the, the it's been almost mattering. a year. Hey. Gazoo, do you know when SSF is coming out? Uh, I've been on a three-month wow break. I have no idea. I don't know. Probably in a few months, ish. I don't know. I I do agree that like um, I I like. I mean, dude, I'm a classic Andy. Like, bro, like it is what it is. I obviously prefer fewer buttons. That like you know, when I press my button, it hurts a lot more. I I like that. I'm a classic Andy. What can I say? But that's a personal preference. Simple. The best example for this is Balanced Druid, which has damage ticks from Moonfire. Damage ticks from Sunfire, damage ticks from Astral Smolder, damage ticks from Shooting Stars, damage ticks from Starfall, like a damage ticks from Mushrooms, damage ticks from Stellar Flare if talented, like damage <laughs> ticks from Starfire Cleave, sometimes damage ticks from Tear Set, Some people like damage that. ticks from Trinkets or Embellishments, oh, damage ticks from Fury of Valoon. On one <laughs> hand, it's nice to have many ways of dealing damage and many cool buttons to press. But on another hand, I have no idea what any of the numbers on my screen mean. So what's the purpose of even having numbers on screen then? At that point, I mean, it's different specs, man. Like you, 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 you. Some people like the dots and a lot of sh like a lot of small damage. Some people like big juicer, you know, executes. Point. If the question has to be asked, then Preference. there is a flaw in the system. On top of this, all specs require simming and oh, high dedication to research simming, in order man. to play optimally, and it isn't great. Although sometimes it can oh. be fun, but only to some extent. While it's always a good thing to have super players, the gap today between an average player and a super player is way too big, and this is purely how the specs slash spells slash talents slash gears That's how are it is. built and all the multiple interactions between them. Even the I will say, you really don't have to do this though. You don't have to sim if you don't want to. You can just be like, okay, what stats do I need? Okay, I need crit. I need haste. Okay, get crit haste. Right, that's it. You don't need to like go super crazy with it. You know, I don't think simming is a big issue personally. I think it's there for the people that want to do it. And if you don't want to do it, then just don't do it. Right, you don't have to sim it. Yeah, but then you press your big button in classic and it misses. Having to get a hit cap is fun. You don't need to sim your character to get hit cap in classic. You just need to be okay. I need five. I need nine percent hit. How much hit do I have? I have 8%. Okay, I need one more percent hit. That's not simming, all right? The simplest spec cannot be at its best without the use of external tools and websites. Yeah. The fact that we need weak auras and add-ons in order to play some specs or be able to go through some raid fights or dungeons is just wait, bad. Holy sh- wait. How many combo points do Rogue have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
You have nine combo points? What the fuck? Wait, is that a thing now? Add-ons and we... You can get seven with talons? I, I assume every one of these is a combo point, right? That's insane. What the hell? There's seven max plus one in sub plus one in rogue. Oh my gosh. Look at that enemy bar. Yeah, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven here. There's seven there. I see that. Cars should be optional and the quality of life improvement. Not mm. Yeah, but if you want to be good and not get kicked from raids because underperforming, you need to sim your character and read your rotation. I don't think you need to sim your character to do well. I do think you need the proper gear, but you don't necessarily need to go and sim your character. If you know what stats you need, then you just get those items, you prio those items with those stats, and then you're good. Right? But yeah, you do need to know how to play your character for sure. Required to yeah. play. I was talking to Marcellian the other day, and he remembers being pissed that the game became so easy back in what, but now looking back he had more fun playing it and it okay. always comes back to the first thing you interact with your class encounters balancing comps and pvp play a big role and again it's nice having the space for optimizing and geeking on being yeah. a master at your class I agree. but it has to have some limits because i feel today it's just out of control blizz needs to take a look I at the level of that, complexity yeah. they have in the game and tone it down 10 20 percent maintaining a smaller space for optimization but lowering the barrier of entry for decent performance feedback on what you're pressing and when you are fine just looking to have some fun in the game we made a video on the most fun range dps specs you can check right here if you click it on your okay. screen right now I mean, it's an interesting video. I, I I do agree with a lot of the stuff that he's saying, but there's also some things that I definitely don't agree with, I will say. But um, overall, pretty pretty interesting video here. I think it's definitely something that's very... The whole, like, the game being so convoluted and very complicated is definitely a big reason why the, the WoW player base is so divided between classic and, and retail as well nowadays, right? What is this XTD emote? Can we stop posting that? Oh, it's his face. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say I, I most of it I do not agree with. Definitely. Uh, I probably have a very different outlook on WoW than he does in general. But I think it's very interesting hearing other people's thoughts on the game and like what they think should be in it and not, right? I feel like he over-exaggerates the need to play efficiently for new players. It is needed. I agree. I agree with that. Yeah, I, I, I think a lot of the stuff that he is saying is definitely not needed. Um, and he's, he's like, portraying it as it is, like, you need to do all these crazy things, right? You know, leveling has not made sense since Death Knights were introduced. We're going to t fight Arthas, but first you gotta go to Outland for no whatever reason. I think that's just the nature of, of, of MMOs, though, to a certain degree, that, you know, you, you just get more and more zones eventually. You know, that's pretty much it. I'll uh, link the video here, though, guys. Check it out from Marcellian Online. I, I think it's fun, though. Uh, it's fun having conversations about the game and, like, you know, different opinions on it and, and hearing what people think about the stuff that, you know, I I have been playing for a while as well. Good day, Gusu and chat. Michelle, you have a fantastic day, too. I hate the fact that they, they scaled back the levels from 220 back to 60. I spent 15 years playing to have my character served. Have, have, have my character nerfed? <laughs> Yo, Michelle! What the heck? Thank you for the 10 gifted goddamn subs, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 10 subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Holy moly. Thank you very much. For the 10 gifted subs, Michelle. I do appreciate that. Awesome streamer deserves some support. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Get a get a pair wood beard combo. It's good for the get a pair wood beard comb. I don't know. Maybe I do need a comb. I'm just using a plastic one from IKEA, man. It is what it is. Did I watch Peacecraft yet? I have not. No, I have not. Thank you though for the 10 subs. I, that alert, guys, for the people that haven't seen that alert before, it's an alert we made like years ago and I kind of just kept it because it's, it, it is what it is, right? The number one thing why people perform poorly in Mythic Plus is that people aren't actually using their cooldowns, always hold them for a boss. Yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. 
I, I personally like Mythic Plus, but I just I'm not big into retail as of late, so I'm just not playing it. Right, that that's really it. Uh, what's this? Ahmed <laughs> Mohsen. Ahmed Mossen, Guswaldo PFT when I always miss it uh, like five minutes. Um, well, pro I think we'll do the Guswaldo PFT tomorrow. I think that's gonna be the plan tomorrow. Guswaldo PFT, uh, Flower Piff, what's up? What do you have to say today? Joe, I heard that you were bullying chatters while I was away. What bullying? It's time for you to take some on your own size. What? <laughs> What? What are you on about? Okay, that. Before this duel, a truth to reveal. Justice shall prevail. Your fate, I'll seal. Not agreeing with Twitch chat is not bullying them, okay? Because that's because we don't agree. Doesn't mean I'm bullying someone. Unbelievable. Go get Keystone Master in retail. Um uh, I don't really have like a big desire to push Keystone or like anything like that right now. Maybe at some point with the uh, War Within when the new expansion comes out, we could do something like that. But I don't really have any like big desire to do that right now. I will say. Alright. Um that's why we want to see it. Nah, I mean if I feel like it one day, if I'm really into it and stuff like that, then we could definitely give it a whirl. But not at the moment, right? Um, you asked for a thank you for the prime 11 months. I appreciate that. Do your chores. Shadow Morn pumpage and now. I'm gonna talk to. Uh, um. Sorry, I had to miss it, someone. What did I say? Ah, oh, completely th lost track of thought. Fuck, I don't know what I was saying. I just had to respond to someone real fast. Ah, oh, my bad, my bad. I was buffering for a moment. I don't remember what I was saying. Next raid? Oh, shit, yeah, I wanted to do- I wanted to do Ruby Sanctum, but we'll probably do that this weekend or something like that. I don't know. I wanna- I wanna try to do a Ruby Sanctum raid on my warrior, since we got Shadowmorn. Are you okay? I don't think so. I was thinking about not streaming today because there's just been a lot of shit that I've been uh, sorting out IRL, but I decided to do a short stream anyway, so we're doing it, right? Uh, can you react to this? Best moments from Excel Esports battles. The I fuck? Can catch up those last few questions he needs to get back ahead and retake the lead. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. wow. at 5.50. Finished off oh, no. the four. Oh. No. Oh no. Yeah, real quick and see where he's working. Right, right. It's like watching World of Warcraft Arena, man. I don't know what's happening. Are your legs doing better? You mentioned how sore you were from working out. Yeah, my legs are doing good. Thank you for asking, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> God damn it, man. I can't today. Yeah, so... <laughs> Let's uh, let's take a look at this chat here, okay? This is the fourth episode of the Uber Danger series, guys. We've been watching one Uber Danger episode per day, and it is time for the fourth episode today, guys. And the title of this one is called Warrior Midlife Crisis. Let's check it out. Open door in five. Okay. Four. What now. Uh, what 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 it, what why do you want him to hold? What can you do? Oh, Jesus Christ! No. Open door in five, four. Now. Oh okay. uh, fuck! There's a lot of people uh, there. Oh, I fucking bastard! Fucking scum! You hard scum! Just fucking let me in! Let me in! <laughs> fuck! That's a classic. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, I'm in! Oh, shit. Ooh. So, 
You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Yes, Bill Weapon, by the well, way. Well, last time, our hero fought uh, bravely to yep. overcome harsh perils and tough times, oh, completing can... Black Fathom Deeps in Ashen Vale and flying off into the distance. Mm -hmm. So how did I end up storming Scarlet Monastery, a dungeon way above my pay grade, wielding an extremely powerful weapon Ooh. with a group of gnomes, one of which I hold a lifelong grudge towards, <laughs> who through <laughs> a series of events I'll explain later, ended up unequipping all his armor to mm -hmm. sit down and enjoy a regular day in World of Warcraft. Okay. And then the Fire Nation attacked. Oh shit. The Adventures of Spock Victus, the Warrior Midlife Crisis. Alright, let's go, boys. I'll have you know I've gone through much peril to bring you this video. Okay. The Death Mold saga has finally come to a close as they've yet again declared my apartment legally fit for human life. What? I'll admit it, it was my fault. I should have refrained from chopping that milk in half with an axe years ago. But there's what? no use in crying over spilled milk. Uh, What's important is, is focus. The who, what, when, and the where. I what traveled the? from Ashenvale to Duskwood, exploring a new land in search of quests. What? You see, I had to get to level 30 yeah, to execute danger. Order 66, or as it's referred to by the WoW community, absolutely ruining our game. But oh, I digress. Shit. In my time there, I killed foul ghouls and scary skeletons. Mm. I met a man who threw a very advanced form of schizophrenia was actually five people, Classic. four of which were buffing his conscious self. I got enriched by the local culture and killed a mage in his Love own bed, completely honorless, but also something he'd never expect. Found a mob spawned inside of a wall, fucking unplayable 15 year old trash game. Hey, Became hey, acquainted hey, with what the locals refer to as the situation. And I made an enemy who I harbor great negative emotions towards. Okay. I saw a bunch of people posting in the chat about this one rogue who was just terrorizing this relatively low leveling area. When he <laughs> and that's why they do it, man, okay? They want to be that guy. They want to be like that notorious rogue like destroying all the lives of the low levels, man. It's such a classic moment, man. Undead male rogue camming low levels. Finally got to me, I couldn't believe it. Yep. It was Sindolf, bastard. The same fucking guy from way back then. In no way! <laughs> Getting ganked by a rogue in WoW is truly falling victim to one of the Kick. classic blunders. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. <laughs> Fool me twice, and I'll advertise the creation of a mob to hunt you down. Oh, All shit. Horde players are just people that had awful parenting, and okay. it was time to cleanse Darkwood of this evil. We used a formation that's an American football referred to as the Dirty Gremlin. We split up in four three directions from where the rogue was last seen and all act as bait. When the child in need of a proper father figure can't retain his misplaced emotions any longer, he strikes just as I expected. I rejoiced and truly tasted sweet victory. <laughs> Sindolf should have known never to start a land He's war in the enemy, Eastern enemy. Kingdoms, but only slightly less known is this. Never going against the Night Elf when death is on the line! Oh, <laughs> shit. He killed me and logged off. And then I did something despicable. After reaching level 30 through various means which I'm not legally obliged uh, to disclose, what? I went scouting okay. for a guild, not because I lacked companionship, but rather because I was gonna take them for all they had. You wait, wait, what did they say? Because I lacked companionship, but rather... We're friendly and shit too. We just started recruiting. Not many members yet, but we'll get there. Can I interest you in an invite? Oh, okay. Either because I was gonna take them for all they had. You see, at level 30, you get access to your warrior quests, which if completed, Ooh. give you access to Berserker Stance and the Whirlwind X, respectively. Uh -huh. Now, through traditional means, one couldn't possibly begin to take on these tasks at level yeah, 30. That is where the guild comes into play. You see, warriors suck so fucking much at leveling that they almost sort of default into being the best scaling class in the game. Yep. It's quite unimpressive when you think about it. Here's my math. What? Due to the lackluster what? experience, warriors, Wait, wh when what? you think about it, here's my math. Useful, how effective, time passed, how shitty leveling is, how much misery. Dude, what the hell is this graph? Where's Rogue at? What's all this? At level 1, the warrior is the least useful class, and level 6, the warrior is the most useful class. Due to the loss of math, that means that warrior scales better than any other class in Classic. I mean, he's not wrong. 
Due to the lackluster oh, experience, warriors are in high demand, and guilds are oftentimes very invested in helping their warriors progress to a point where they can raid. Here's okay. where the aforementioned ruse comes into play. I joined a guild and convinced this poor soul to help me Greek through the X. entirety of my warrior quest chain, what? which requires a couple steps. See, First, like we have a speed? stern talking with our warrior class trainer. Greetings. Who tells us we need to travel to a faraway island. With haste, so cool, I return to Duskwood and enter possibly the biggest world PvP clusterfuck in the game, yep. which both thematically and geographically is almost entirely like Vietnam. One of the actual what? inspirations behind this rumble in the jungle. Our goal is, <laughs> is to make it, it really? to Booty Bay at the southern tip, where we'll not just pick up a flight path, no but way. also take a boat to Merchant's Coast and the Barrens. I was terrified. Wait, is it really? Vietnam map images. Ah, not no, it's not. No, he bamboozled a little bit. I think, right? Is it? This is Vietnam. That's a, that's a little bamboozle. It's like a root. It's like a root. A little bit, I guess. Oh, it's the tip! Oh, I was looking at the entire thing, but it's more like the tip. Oh, yeah, the tip looks like it. I can see that. Yeah, Grumgol is right there. Up here, this is where the cave is. Then there's a little water there. Then down there, that's Booty Bay. Oh, yeah, it does look like that, actually. Okay, interesting. I have all the Horde players, okay. and I focused so much on avoiding them that I died to the mob. <laughs> oh. With a few... Minor incidents. Along the oh, way, shit. I managed to claw my way through the jungle and get to Booty Bay. Mm. Oh shit, that actually rhymes. That's actually bars. What? Don't, don't do this. No, don't. With the few minor incidents along the way, I managed to claw my way through the jungle and get to Booty Bay. Fuck. On the real though, compared to how much my friends and everybody in this game was hyping this area up to just be a death zone, the Horde players were actually surprisingly nice just letting a low-level player pass through. I'll okay. be sure to remember that, and I'll be kind to these Horde players mm -hmm. once I reach level 60 and return to this jungle with a hundred men armed to the teeth. Okay. But I digress. Now, if I had jumped okay. off the boat well ahead of time, I would have been right next to the island. Mm -hmm. Instead, I went mountain climbing for 15 minutes before realizing I went the wrong way. Yep. To then find out that there's a fatigue system in the game, you can absolutely exert all your energy no, and he? drown. Oh. In World of Warcraft, you learn something new every day. I finally make it to the island and speak to Clanock MacLeod, a reference to the musician, who wants me to kill Big Will, who's actually also a reference a to boy. the musician Big Will. After doing this man's dirty work, we learn Berserker Stance and begin Ooh. the hard part of the quest. We journey all the way to Hillsbrand Foothills, tie to Helcular, <laughs> up through the Alterac <laughs> Mountains, and speak to Bathra the Windwatcher, who gives us the WoW class quest equivalent to 40 shots of tequila oh. at once. We gotta bring him 8 life root, 30 blood scalp tusks, and an essence of the Oof. exile. The life root is pretty cheap, but we'll be bankrupting our economy for the essence. You mm. see, to make it, you need 8 cresting, burning, and thundering charms. Something I could spend a week grinding or just buy on the auction house. After getting scammed by various Chinese auction house bots, Wait, I headed to Strong and Lavend Legenda. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, Thank you for the two months, and also struck with luck, thank you. Angle Thorn Vale to meet uh -huh. up with the man who thank was you, spending guys. hours of his life helping out a new guild member. Now mm. getting these blood scalp tusks is incredibly rewarding. And by that, I mean agonizingly slow, yep. unreasonably inconsistent, and altogether an irreconcilable experience void it's of really any bad. gratification. We have to kill trolls until I have 30 tusks. It's not unusual to kill 10 without getting a single drop. It can be really there long. is one area where a lot of trolls spawn, but we got killed there five times in a row and decided it wasn't fucking meant to be. Which let There's just so many horde that has quests there. That's why STV is so left rough. Left us with the option of farming this much shittier part. It felt like the good area, but sugar free. Like the discount oh. experience for the losers who couldn't hack it. This was diet tusk farming and I wasn't having fun. Mm -hmm. In the jungle, there's no mercy. You it's kill people to steal their mob. You kill people to layer them. <laughs> In fact, you kill people just cause you fucking can. Your mom is such like a... 
It's not like you got anything better to do whilst Damn. waiting several minutes for a troll to spawn. I started farming these tusks at 1.30 a.m. And it took a what? solid two hours before I had 30. By Dude, he is actually nocturnal. Every single video I've seen him playing, he's literally always in the middle of the night. At this point, my man had actively been assisting me for nearly four hours. Oh, God. <laughs> We then journeyed Jesus. back to the Alterac Mountains to complete the final part of the, the... quest. Oh. After Bothrock cooks up a potent concoction, oh, we okay, perform the three. summoning ritual. Just use the river. After which, Cyclonian kills us immediately. It wasn't even close, we oh. definitely needed assistance. I looked through my friends list and the only person online was Larry Six, the oh, infamous no. gnome of doom. I Not swallowed my pride and asked for his help. He obliged, and with the help of a couple people from my guild, we finally hey, managed to take down Cyclonian. Shit. I turned in the quest and was finally the proud owner of the Whirlwind Axe. Ew, a weapon that's so cool. goddamn good for my level that it should be illegal it's to so land at level 30. After receiving the axe, I told my guild it's been a pleasure doing business with them and oh. immediately left the guild. <laughs> no way he did that. Hold on. Darkness just texted what? me. What? Oh, short on people. Larry and yeah. I agreed to meet up some other time to settle our differences. And it was at this very moment that I started rising to glory. You see, I okay. checked my mailbox. Abortion sent us a letter titled, Got Milk containing 235 uh, glasses of milk. He also included a second package with five pounds of flesh, uh, troll sweat, mystery meat, and vision dust. Okay. You know what to do with these. Fuck, send us 69 silver to compensate for what he did in dead mines. This letter was titled, Mental Disability. Oh. Here's two gold for the trouble, you poor rascal. Huckster says, use these to beat mages and sends me two free action Ooh, potions and two swiftness nice. potions. These will come in very handy. Who is this? Diarrhea says, Wear a shirt, you filth. Okay. I humbly accepted my new garments. Mind if I put my sweet nectar in your moist cornbread? Please don't message me again. Uh, and Rubik okay. makes a generous contribution Ooh. to the crusade. These 10 gold will be spent very Ooh. well. I'm gonna invest them in goblin rocket boots that might blow up and getting e-drunk with presumably women. What? Speaking of presumably women, I got a promiscuous letter from Big Titty GF who sent me some of her homemade cheese. I told her it was disgusting and sent it back. And now it Good. was time for a dungeon. Not the one from the intro, we'll get to that, but rather Nomer? it was oh. time to bludgeon our new axe on Gnome Regan. I wonder what's gonna the happen. only dungeon in the game where almost every single enemy is a gnome, a dungeon I chose for no particular reason. Okay. Starting time, 1 a.m. No. Catchphrase, here we go again. If God is real, dude. amen. No, what? No, it's Just way long. Yeah, it's way longer. This run was a disservice to this human intelligence and probably the biggest fiasco I've encountered during my hundred plus hours in Azeroth. It's yeah. honestly impressive that this many things could go wrong at the same time. Mm -hmm. Check it out, right? Ooh. I couldn't get the first key card to drop, probably because of a bug, but possibly due to unfathomable bad luck. So no quest XP for me. Rip. Later we survive an ambush, after which Blastmaster Short Fuse sets off an explosion and closes the entrance to the mm. tunnel. Somehow, I manage to walk through the rubble just at the moment before the invisible wall gets put into place. And there I stood, what? completely softlocked. <laughs> I have never seen that happen ever. How did he manage to do that? Yeah. <laughs> He has to die. I can hearthstone out or get my health to zero. Had it not been for the warlock summoning portal, oh, I would have had easy. to start a new life as a cave dweller. Our whole group then goes on to miss the second so punch skip. card, ah. and our warrior needs for I a ring so with a... spirit and stamina. This caused oh. Tractor, our mage, to have a... Wait, what? Yeah, he says, yeah, I'm gonna leave this party, fuck this rogue, fucking retail kit. Mental breakdown. As I'm focused on the chat, I managed to... Wait. I'm just so done. I don't want to stay in the party with a guy like that. I just need two more essential artifacts, says Uber Danger. Tractor, calm down. Still here. Shockwick, chill. I'm calm. 
Is this just the 3 a.m. raids? Like, what is this? a group of mobs. My comrades stand still and watch me die. I call Tractor a Redditor. He leaves the party, <laughs> and I manage to get exactly 11 out of 12 essential <laughs> artifacts before having to give up. Considering literally everything went wrong, I thought it couldn't possibly get any worse. So I find a new group and start That's all brutal, over. brutal, yeah. That jump was perfect, by the way, and on purpose. Gnome Regan, or Nomerigan, Gnome uh, Regan, what? whatever. <laughs> Whatever. is a stale experience with a bit of charm to it. Mm -hmm. It's not utterly poorly designed like stockades, but there's nothing extraordinary either. So let's skip past all the boring shit. 5 a.m., we wiped to these arcane nullifiers and got to re-experience oh Blizzard's God. patented, gruesome, Walk to your corpse gameplay. We make a calculated jump that brings us within an inch of losing our lives. I get disconnected. After reconnecting to the Blizzard multiplayer experience, I use the auto blow too, because Ooh, might hey, as well while I have the chance. It's not like I'll ever do this godforsaken fucking dungeon uh, again. Uh, then, after a long night of harsh grief and misfortune, it was time for the boss. Ooh. <sighs> you already know what I did. If you've seen the first three videos, you, you know the pattern, you know what's coming, you've seen this before. Going utterly against the suggestions of my comrades, what? I charge in whilst our healer has zero uh. mana, proceed to die without popping my health potion, <laughs> and shop- <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm so sorry. I'll do bombs, I will keep the after. I should I start walking? <laughs> Somehow, I still have the fucking nerve to ask for a goddamn revive whilst my whole group gets slaughtered. After we all wipe, I had to undergo the walk of shame. After spending a moderate amount of time oh, to get back to the no. boss room, I finally managed to beat an American. It's at this point that I'm supposed to feel satisfaction. But let me tell you, no matter how many completed quests I have in my log, no matter how close I am to hitting level 32, there's okay. absolutely no happy juices left in the brain when you're Bro. at the tail end of an infamous WoW session till the sun rises. Bro, dude, this guy, he, he is like the definition of a gamer, man. Every single video I've seen so far, it's literally always like morning when he's done raiding. And he's like, oh, I can finally go to bed, dude. What the heck? Having had my fill of dungeon grinding, I decided to go on an adventure, seeing as Seems I'm the type good. of person who would rather spend three hours of my life than okay. Google the next appropriate zone for my character. I, I like I this. I started at this Hills Bradford Hills. Went through Silver Pine Forest and found a giant purple ball in Dalaran. Dalaran. I met this undead priest who danced with me and licked me, after right. which I'd earned his trust. I led him into a faraway cave oh. and fucking killed him. What I the? swam across Lordamir Lake and met this old couple living in a house. I found out the hard way that they don't take kindly to strangers. <laughs> when I finally got away from them, an assassin unstealthed and killed me in cold blood. And yep. then I did all that again in wisp form. After oh, it's so cool, sorry, it's so cool seeing someone just explore the game like which this. I, love I entered it. horde territory. And since Tirasfall so Glades apparently wasn't scary enough, I decided to venture into Undercity. It. I quickly Why? changed my mind. Now here is where my exploration took an unexpected turn. I okay. saw a zeppelin for the first time, seeing mm. as it was garrisoned by death guards, packed to the brim with horde players, and headed to an unknown destination. Ooh. I immediately knew I had to board it. Dude. Using corpse walking, I res inside the airship this is and so cool. fly off into the distance, what? eagerly awaiting unknown lands. Now the very unfortunate thing was that an orc found me. Considering I revealed myself, that really shouldn't have come as a surprise. Uh. As he enforced natural selection at its finest, I managed to hold on to dear life just a tad longer by doing my sexy dance. When he started skanking, I actually do. thought I was safe. But lo and behold, he was still gonna end me. And just as I'm about to die, we enter the loading zone to Kalimdor. Having mildly better internet than my oppressor, <laughs> I seize the moment and jump out of the blimp. I land safely in the water and swim to the shore. Okay. However, it didn't take long for me to realize that this was no place for a night elf. Did he actually... With a great sense of urgency, I decided to take the airship back. Bro, in Durotar, I... you can expect to run into just a few, j just a couple horde players taking advantage what of the, the free public transit. I zoom past them and hide in the cargo hold. Everything was going smoothly until I was yet again discovered by an orc. Oh I God. tried to negotiate with him, but I quickly discovered that he had all the leverage. 
When he inevitably tries to stab me, I jump out of the zeppelin. Mm -hmm. I survive the fall just to be met by a small army of horde <laughs> players so that can all see the big red arrow above my head. I suppose what happened next was to be expected. I'd had enough of this shit and took mm -hmm. the hearthstone home, flew to Theramore Isle and ran through Dust Swallow Marsh. Okay. With only a handful of deaths, I trek my way through the barrens and make it to Thousand Needles. Why so not? my gnome friend here is one hit away from dying. Naturally, I do everything in my power to save him from this gruesome sheep, who much to my surprise turned out to be an orc under you, you a spell. You weren't saving him. Man, look at that. That's just goddamn beautiful. It took me three hours. Now and while you can't no actually HP, communicate with the horde, whatever they write gets distorted into orcish, but people have figured out how to type shit in orcish. Oh, and when no. I tried questing go only to, to be slain <laughs> time and time again by this bastard who kept telling me I to go it. back to retail, I'd had enough of this <laughs> terrible place. In a last ditch effort, I went oh, to Gadget Sand to pick up a flight path so this entire journey hadn't been for nothing. Oh. And that was the very moment that I received a message from the gnome asking if I wanted to join in on farming <laughs> Scarlet Mon Monastery, on the condition that I stopped picking on gnomes. Even knowing my That's track record one. with dungeons and WoW, I convinced myself that this was the move, seeing as the boss could yield an axe I wanted more than anything else in this Ooh. game. Therefore, I went all the way back to Hillsbrad Foothills and met up with Larry. And this is actually the funny part. Remember okay. that entire journey I just described to you? Uh -huh. Now I had to do half of it again. And together with an individual who simply couldn't stop talking about how I should stop being mean to gnomes. Level 48, so you like to pick on little guys, eh? With 10% luck, 20% skill, and 15% concentrated power of will, we actually make it to our so destination fun. in one piece. Now if almost every dungeon leading up to this was a full-blown clusterfuck, this was a well-oiled machine. A symbiotic magnum opus showcasing team- Oh. <laughs> Work and synergy I never thought possible. Having several paper. mages busting through armory is a fucking beautiful sight to behold. Prior <laughs> to this, if I aggroed a few mobs, I was the bastard who fucked up. Now, anything less than 10 mobs was considered wasting time. Oh. I had to throw in the towel and admit, Alright, I'm having a good time here, this is fucking gameplay. Larry even drank the noggin fogger elixir, which made him even smaller, and honestly, I respect a man of that size. These gnomes were clearly giving me the absolute hookup, and I could do nothing but reciprocate. Leading okay. us to the part in the intro which I this so shamelessly clickbaited you with. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to inform no. you that nothing extraordinary happened beyond oh, that point. I you were we ran it. the dungeon a couple times, I got Herod's helmet and shoulders, Ooh. yet no X. The day after, I decided to try good? again with a new group. Group, but without the mage hookup, it was painfully slow. We ran the dungeon oh, for four hours before the Ravager finally Ooh. dropped, at which point, Svan Palt! Sorry about that, let's keep watching. The man who'd previously informed me that the axe was of no use to him needs on it and I lose the 50-50 roll. Dungeons in World of Warcraft, man. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Yep. What time is it? As a silver lining to end the video on a high note, I rekindled with my banging oh. wild GF Elizabeth. She'd been grinding the real world, resulting in a solid level deficit, landing me the power position in the relationship. Financially, I was a powerhouse. Oh, DPS-wise, I was a primal fucking animal. And that's why they always come crawling back, especially if you don't tell them about the letter from Big Titty GF. Oh, Anyways, shit. that's the end of our journey for now. Getting e smashed this is a good with video. presumably like this one. women. Would our hero ever get the Ravager Axe? Would Swak Wictus rise to the occasion? And what gruesome adventures awaits our hero? Damn. I suppose you'll find out if I don't quit playing this game. <laughs> Which I might. <laughs> Dude, this was one of my favorites so far. For sure, this was my favorite video of, of like the series so far. Because I liked that he was like exploring, running around in the world, like just a fresh experience. This was for sure my favorite. All right, I'll link the video, obviously, guys, obviously. What a great video, man. What a great series he's making as well. This is really awesome. Here it is, guys. Four hour no more. Yeah, imagine spending that long. Together with the Barney videos, they're hands down the best WoW content video ever. I watched the Barney videos like a while back when they came out. I just never watched Uber Danger. That's why we've been on this like Uber Danger like video grind, just watching them every single day. And it's, it's been really awesome. It's been really, really good. Been liking it. You are awesome. Thanks, man.
Will the two-hour react ever end? Uh, probably now, but uh, we'll, 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 we'll watch another episode tomorrow, chat. We'll be, we'll, we have been watching um, a little Uber Danger per day, and we'll watch another one tomorrow. So we'll watch the episode five tomorrow, guys. But I think, woo, I think for the rest of the stream, woo, I think what we'll do, chat, is I want to do the... Um, what we need to see Bonnie's video. I want to do that after the BFD and then play the game afterwards. That's what I want to do. One uh, year. What am I doing with my life? Kelta says, thank you for the one year. And also, by the way, Sir Dreadeye, thank you for the four months. And Acro, thank you for the seven as well. And Makai, Maki, thank you for the two months. Uh, so what I want to do for the rest of the stream chat, I think I'm going to be doing... Um, I, think I, I want to do the, a, a, a Shaman raid on my Badoosh. I want to do another elemental raid, see if we can get some stuff done. And then we'll play on Bonnie's game. And Bonnie made like some sort of a um, a Dark Souls kind of game. Like, I don't really know. I think it's like Asmogold in it or some shit like that. And I really would like to play it because I've kind of played all the games that Bonnie made. And I've been really enjoying them. So we'll do BFD on the Shaman. And then we'll do the Bonnie game afterwards, okay? And that's going to be the stream for today. As I said, quite short-ish stream today. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind, obviously, but that's how it is. Um, a fan var den yderste sende til ham her med. Okay, jeg skal lige se det her lige hurtigt, gutter. Uh... Um... Okay. Okay, sorry, I, I had to mess with something real fast. Um... Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, where were we? I forgot what we were, what were we saying. A bit of Savix? No, it's Nike Bucks. Um, it's some video stuff I'm typing with. All right. Uh, did you watch Eric's death? Uh, I actually did not know. I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't watch it, Eric. I must admit. Actually, um, do I use any beard oil? I actually don't have any beard oil in my beard today. But normally, I do use some beard oil. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. What was this queen in the background? It's the queen. Oh, that's what it is. All right, well, let's look in. Oh, my lord. Dude, it's been really fun watching those um, those videos, though. Been really been, been enjoying it, man. Okay, let me do this here. Okay, so I actually... I, I already got my boon here. I got my DMF and I got my boon as well, which is badass. So we just need to see if we can find a group. I'll be doing elemental. I'm going to be rolling for some elemental gear because I've been trying to gear up my shaman a little bit for that. In preparation for phase two. So if somebody has a uh, desire to come join for a little pumper run for BFD, guys. Loot rules are very simple. It's main spec over off spec. And that's it. So if somebody wants to join, then let me know. Rogue here for BFD. Sure, sure, sure. Can I try to pry up people from the guild, obviously, guys? Because uh, that's how we do business. Hunter here. Kasei. We can bring Kasei. Kika, pumper, mage. Okay. Hunter, mage, rogue. Feral, we could use a Feral for sure. Got Feral, we got Brick here as a caster. Can you get a guild invite? You can. Uh, okay, gear. I, I have no idea how much gear score that is, Summerwind, but I'll just invite you, okay? Can I get a guild invite? Of course you can. I can be on in 8 minutes. Sure, if you want to join, I can save a spot for you. Uh, there's another rogue here. We could we could bring two rogues. You're starting to look like Asthma Gold. What do you mean? Um, are you talking about my because of this or what? Nah, that's how it goes, man. Not much I can do about that, dude. It is what it is. What CPU do I use? Uh, I think it's an Intel. I'm pretty sure. I think it's an Intel i9 something. Hmm. 
you right. He's from Quota as well. Wait, I'm gonna ask. Do you have sword? I think it's I nine something. I we need to get a new stat back today. You don't have the sword. Oh, do you have the sword? Because I, I feel bad bringing two people that need it, right? Mm. Hold on a second here. Let me see if I can flip. I just I think we should bring some more casters, right? What would be the final spot here, though? Ah. Uh... What do I need? I think you need a rogue like me. You know what, Jibbert? You whispered me early. Let's bring you. Okay, let's bring you. Two rogues. That's fine. Well, what do we need? Uh, Caster. DPS plus heal. I think we just want caster DPS plus heals now. I think that's going to be uh, it's gonna be the move. Warlock? Let's bring a warlock. That sounds good. Do you need a druid healer for BFD? Uh, shit, this guy whispered me. Priest. We have Parsh coming. Do we bring a Priest Healer or a Druid? Mm. Got well buff. Uh, we, we, we just need Healer. Are you, are you in quota, Shambams? You are, right? Come on, Priest. I'll, I'll, no, flip. Now I whispered this guy. Oh shit, I don't care about healer. I don't care really about healer. Uh, do you want to join Parsh or should I bring these two guys here? It's up to you, man. <laughs> I feel so bad because I always fill up too fast or like, you know. Mm -mm -mm. If somebody else will take those two, no worries. Uh, okay, let, let's bring Hill, Hill Dog and then this guy, right? I think that'll be fine. Then you can you can join for the uh, the next run that we do. I want to do the warrior run. I think. Wait, when does when does PFD reset chat? Is it on Wednesday or Thursday? I I know it's reset today. Like I know it's it's today Thursday. Okay, I think we're gonna do the five man raid on Thursday then, Parsh. So keep keep your ID for that. Okay. I got you some games on Steam, Guzu. What? Do we have a tank? Oh, shit. <laughs> Do we... We don't need tanks. I don't believe in tanks. Yeah, let's just go without tanks, guys. I think it's gonna be fine. We're not going to need those. I don't believe in tanks anyway. I think whoever has aggro has aggro, right? Let's just do it like that. Yeah, wh whoever gets the aggro just uh, gets the aggro. So let let's wait for the druid to whisper me and then we'll just send the raid, guys, okay? We filled, sorry. Horse and Baish. Uh, I, do you, you were not the druid though, Nico. Were you... I I I, I promised another druid to join. Oh, it was Hell Dog, yeah. I was up, Payo. By the way, good to see you, man. Yeah, I'm doing a short stream today, man. I I got some things I I gotta do after stream. Um. I would like another healer as last, if no tank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I I promised the druid to come, so we'll just bring the druid, okay? All Guzu streams are short. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hello? Bro, what is what the hell is that on about? All Goose's streams are short. Whatever, man. You need to go buy some sinks for the giveaway. Um What? What the hell? Wait, what what games did you 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 want to check my Steam or what? I'm always so scared. Can I can I look at this on stream? Stop. We're playing this game on on uh, Friday, by the way, guys. A new co game called Dungeonborn, which is like a um, kind of like a dungeon crawler game that's gonna come out on Friday. Gonna play it on on Friday. What what did you do? 
items. I, I don't know. I don't even know how to look at gifts, man. If you if you gave me anything, you don't. You really don't have to give me anything, though, uh, my dude. Streamer so much porn games. Uh, yeah, there's a few. Oh, is it you? Okay. Why why don't you just join our guild, man? What the hell? We're not gonna make a deal on this staff, Jaeger. Okay, brick. All right. Head to raid, guys. Uh, we don't have any tanks, so it'll... It's gonna be an interesting one. Yeah, we don't have any tanks, guys, so we'll just send it like this, okay? It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Oh, you did... Bro, what are you doing, uh, Aegis? You sent me a shitload of gifts, man. You received the gift, you received the gift, you received the gift, you received the gift. The hell is all this? Gachi Heroes Flex Ball. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah! Uh, thanks, man. I, I don't want to play it right now. Pending gifts. Um, I I'm going to play it later, okay? Uh, okay. Gachi Finder 3000. Whip slash. Ah, best wishes. Ah. All right. Uh, thanks, man. I'm, I'm not going to play those, okay? Like, I'm not going to be playing those, man. Uh, I really appreciate it. You, you really don't have to, to do that, though. Gachi Run. Slaves, get your ass back here. Ah. I, I'm not going to play that one either, guys. Yeah, I, I'm not going to be playing that either, man. What's this? False alarm. Observation duty like game. Find the anomal anomalies to not die. Best wishes? Pokemon slave. I don't know what this game is, but I I I'll, I'll take a look at this. False alarm. Okay. I mean, sure. I mean, I'll, I'll take a look at that. I'm not sure what, the, what that is, but that looks pretty cool. It's like in some shit. Okay. Can take a look at it. I can call on my shaman if you want, then main tank. Honestly, it's up to you. Evil deeds. If you if you want to stay on the priest, stay on the priest, okay? I don't believe in tanks, personally. I don't think tanks are necessary. But if you do want to go tank, you're welcome to. Head to raid, boys. Let's go. I'm only available for BFD on Saturday and next lockout. Of course, you'd rather do it Thursday. You can take someone else. Nah, we'll just do it on Saturday then. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Do you ever have a stage fright when streaming, and do you have a method for coping? Uh, not really. Because, like, I don't know, I don't really... I feel like when I'm streaming, I'm kind of just, like, chilling and talking to you guys, my community, and we're just kind of vibing, right? You know? So, I, I wouldn't say I'm, like, stage fright with it or anything like that. I'm kind of just chilling, man. That's that's pretty much Gazool. it. Wink Dog, thank you for the five months, man. Just imagine your viewers as frogs. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we're doing no. Uh, we're doing it on, on, on uh, later this week. Rake one later this week. Uh, l let you know. How would you feel to present to two K people in real life? I don't know. I'm not sure. I never really thought about it like that. Like I, I don't really think like oh, there's a, you know, this many this many people like watching me right now. That's not like getting ready for P two L supremacy. I see Gazoo. Yeah, I'm trying to get my shaman prepped up for uh, elemental, man. See if we can do it. Valheim, no. Uncharted, no. Level 50, Palward, no. SOD, yes. Yeah, I, we're doing a shorter stream today, guys. I, 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 it is what it is. I, I was going to do like a longer Pal World stream today, but I, there, there's just a few things I got to sort of IRL. Hopefully that's all right. You can offer trades to your friends on stream? I think so. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. They can get even shorter? Oh, shut up. Shut up, dude. Whatever, man. Come on, dude. I guess we'll just summon people up, right? And then we'll be good to go. See the sky. See the whispers. Okay. Let's do a no blinking contest. We start in five seconds. I don't want to do that. That's going to stress me out, man. <laughs> That's going to stress me out real bad, dude. Mamma mia. No, stop staring at me, chat. I don't like that. 
Now you're making me uncomfortable, okay? Let's have a 1, 2, 3 the chat for summons, guys, and let's get this going. Again, main spec, over off spec, y'all. Okay. There we go. Do, 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 do. Let's get people summoned up, boys. And then we'll get going. So do I have the correct, uh... The... Yeah, I have the correct stuff, dude. Because we got some good stuff last night, chat. We got the dagger. And what else did we get? Oh, we bought that ring as well. And then we got the, the helmet, I think, too. So we have some decent elemental gear now, which is nice. Really happy about that. Do you think investing into fire nature protection pods for no more is a smart move? It might be. I'm not going to tell you that it, it will be a smart move, but it, it might be, potentially. Depends on what the rate is, obviously, but yeah. Phantom, thank you for the 8 months prime. I have a meeting. Can you call the raid to the next 30 minutes? I'm sorry. I cannot do that. I apologize. Oh, are we fixing the uh, the groups? Yeah, I have the groups like that, I guess. Unless you don't... Okay. Sure. Okay, we'll do it like that. All right, let's get to the raid, guys. If Kasei is melee, uh, melee weaving, then it's definitely worth having him in the melee group. Okay. Do you live in Switzerland or Germany? Why was that my only two options? <laughs> Can I not get more options for countries? Shit. I'm from Denmark, man. I live in Denmark. If I hold my cam across your cam, do you become blind? I don't think so. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here, man. Holy shit, get rid of these filthy, disgusting alliance players. Guys, go, I, I think we have to, man. I think we have to. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, let me get my healing wave going through here. Oh, my God. There's actually a lot of people here. Okay. They're, they're going behind the, the wall here. Just get through them. Get through them. I'm going to get on this, pre, this, uh, this druid here. Watch this, guys. Watch this. And it's just that easy. There you go. Kill that guy as well. Nice. Yeah. Get them out of here, boys. Get them out of here. There it is. This is a horde game, man. We own this beach. Man, I am so hyped, guys. For level 40 elemental shaman. I, there is so much cool shit we can do on the shaman at 40. Elemental mastery. Elemental fury. Lightning mastery. Storm reach. Eye of the storm. Dude. It's gonna be fun playing Shaman at level 40. Chain Lightning, by the way. Dude, and the great thing about Shaman is that Lightning Bolt, the, the highest rank is level 38. So you get a really fresh rank of Lightning Bolt. And Chain Lightning is level 40, I believe, as, as well. So this is gonna be a good time, man. Yeah, I'm gearing for Elemental for phase 2. I think my Shaman will be my second character I'm leveling in, uh, in Sod. I'll do my Warrior first, and then my Shaman, I think. It's gonna be fun. BFT time, boys. How can you still how can you still stay when I shake my screen? What do you mean? It doesn't work like that. Which Danny's Island was included when you bought your house? It's not that kind of house, man. A little blimpoo. Oh, no. I heard that. Save kicks for Chain Lightning. Okay, dude. You won't be able to stop what's coming, mate. Oh my lord. Bump, beep, 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 boo. Okay, let's go. Ba -da -ba. If you had to live in Sweden or Germany, which one would you choose? Probably Sweden, I think. I mean, I don't know. I don't really have anything against Germany, but I, I really like the... Uh, I don't know, probably Sweden, I think. But then I might as well just go to Norway, right? If I'm already, like, heading there, I might as well just head to Norway then. That's how it goes. Alright, let's, um... Oh, flip! I only have one Black Feather Moil! Shit. Uh, Kings? Does anyone have some oil that I, I, I can purchase? Anyone have some oil for sale? Buying oil. Uh, I don't know how much these are. I'll pay you 40 silver, okay? I I'm not sure how, how much they are, but I'll pay you 40 silver for that. Okay. We good to go? 
We'll send the boys. Uh, we don't really have a tank, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't really have a tank. So, warriors, you guys just go in, okay? Yeah, just go in and send it. Honestly, maybe we can just have the hunter pit tank. Maybe that's gonna be the play. Whoever has aggro has aggro, right? That's that's how we'll do it. Look at Brick kind of juicing it, dude. Not bad. Okay. Let's go. So we can swap back and forth between our weapons, guys. On my two main hands, I have uh, Black Fathom Oil. On my off hands, I have uh, Rock Biter. And since and since Shamanistic Rage scales with Rock Biter for mana, we swap to those other weapons and then we juice it up, right? You got four potential tanks. I'm not gonna force people to play a role they don't want to play, right? The only thing I'll force people to do is spam park jumps in my chat. Let's be honest. Yeah, it scales with attack power. Exactly. There we go. Force him. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It's one of those runs. Demon runs. Bro, we had the most clean... Uh, ICC raid last night, guys. We returned to Wrath on my warrior, and we did like an absolute pumper raid. It was insane. We got we got Shadowmorn. It, it was like so goddamn smooth as well. It was really fun, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah, pretty much. There we go. Ooh! I like that. I like that. Ruby Sanctum win. I think we might try to do Ruby Sanctum this weekend. I'll talk to Brands about it. I, I would like to do one with Brands. So we'll speak to him and we'll see if we can get it going. Okay. There's the weakened barrier. I swapped to tank, so give me a second when we start boss fights. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, so Ranta plan will be the tank. Not bad. I guess it's probably good having a tank for the dungeon, right? Great, sorry. Hi, Sally, and good to see you, man. Yeah, the buff is at 20% currently for uh, Wrath of the Lich King. The dangerous part about Ruby Sanctum is feels, it feels fast at first, but so many people fuck up at Hellion and you stay there for hours. Oh, yeah, I, I have... I, uh, dude, just talking about Ruby Sanctum is giving me flashbacks to Obsidian Sanctum 3 Drake. That shit was uh, something different. Let me tell you, brother. Did you really cancel my boon? Oh, I, I forgot to bring a little Wotwa because my Wotwa ran out. So I guess we're using our boon and then we obviously agility and we strength as well. And then we're kind of good to go. Oh, you got some Wotwa for me? Brick, you're so sick. Thank you so much, man. I might promote you in our Pal World uh, game. Alright. Let's do a pull timer for 20 seconds. And let's show this boss who's the real uh, boss of this gym, guys. Lightning Bolt is probably not worth for Elemental at the moment. I think it is. I think the most potential damage you can do currently as Elemental is Lightning Bolt as well, obviously. Okay. I want to do one of these, though. Okay. Two Lightning Bolts. To a flame shock. And we do one of those. Depth charge, make sure you run off, mate. Oh, wait, did it miss? No, it didn't. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Like, the potential for damage on, on, on Shaman is not the greatest, obviously, but we'll do our very best to do it as we can. Get some attacks in. I think we just send it now with some DPS there. I mean, honestly, man, we're on top. No! Oh, you're pissing me off, Summerwind. You're pissing me off. I couldn't have my one moment as Elemental Shaman, could I? Just wait for Kamura. We don't need any of those. Guys, just need on stuff you need for main spec and great for, for stuff you, you don't need for main spec, okay? We are a guild here, so we trust each other. What are you doing back there? You can make it somewhere, I believe. Oh, there it is. Good job. Let's keep going. What's up, Nico? Hopefully having a happy day today. There we go. With all the BFD runs I did this phase, I never had Aquanus debuff. 
Bro, you're a lucky son of a gun then. What the heck? I pump on Gamura as an elemental shaman. It's the only time I can actually top the meters. Yeah. Just wait for phase two. Like all the elemental shaman enjoyers out there, just wait for phase two. I promise you're gonna love it. Okay, it, it is going to be good. Mark me. Did you just pop retaliation? Oh, that was a rogue. It's the, the rogue uh, tanking thing. I forgot. You can pump in PvE or PvP? Yeah, yeah. Shaman is gonna be sick. Bro, I really hope they remove that stupid damage reduction thing in, in BGs. I, I really do, man. I, I It makes doing BGs so unfun. Like, I, I kind of want to go in and do some big juicy, like, uh, Arathi Basin on my Shaman in Phase 2, but it's going to make it so much more shit if there's that damage reduction, man. You know what I mean? Okay. There we go. All right, let's wait for some mana, then we'll send it. The damage reduce is fun is more fun for warriors. I like it. I don't like it on my warrior either. It made sense for 25, but I hope it's gonna be Yeah, I think so as well. I think they should definitely uh remove it for sure. Oh shit, okay, we're sending it. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna have some acro here. Okay. There we go. Oh, mama, mama, mia, mama. Oh my god. Oh, if you're in the war, then you get don't get knocked. That's actually e a really nice thing. Okay. <laughs> Yo, king. Hey, bring him back here, man. Oh, oh, ho, ho. holy shit, dude. More. Oh, yes, more. Holy crap, dude. Let's go, dude. There it is. <laughs> dude, we're tied with the ball lock. Hey, those crits, though, are nice to see, man. Damn, I think on this guy you just send it with like lightning bolts and stuff for sure. Damn. Alright, not bad, not bad. What can we get from the next boss main? Severas. So something we can get from her? That helmet is good, but I got the cloth one already, or the leather one already, right? I'm a little bit of a leather enjoyer. So yeah, that's how it goes. Do you already know any secrets for phase two, but can't tell us because of NDA? I don't know anything, genuinely. Yeah, I, I know, I know jack shit. Latouche! I think... I just like the idea of Shaman, I think. Like, kind of like a melee caster. I think it's really sick. Okay. Uh, I am logging, Brick. I gotta upload them afterwards, and I don't have that add-on. Like, I don't have that file yet. Did you sign an NDA that says you can't say you signed one? No. But even if I did, then I wouldn't be able to tell you. That doesn't even make any sense. Why would you ask me that? I, I don't know, dude. Are you putting Rockbiter on your weapons? Uh, so I have oil on my two weapons here, and then I have Rockbiter on my other piece of weapons that I'm gonna be swapping to for like a Shamanistic Rage. So I, I am uh, oiled up, and I'm, but I'm also using the Rockbiter. So yeah. Bro, pushback is so unfun. Uh, I can give you some of Brick's water if you want. He gave me... Uh, actually, yeah, I can. Here you go. Right, I'll do a pull timer for 20 seconds. And then we should be okay. 
Because I, I want to respect the warrior's uh, mana or like his rage, right? Why the short stream today? I, I just have a lot of things I'm doing uh, IRL lately. So I, I, I just ha need to take this day to do a little bit of stuff. You should not be here. Okay. Send it. Go. Please, 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 please. Don't give me the thing. Nice. Okay. One of those. Don't run away from it. Stay, 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 stay. Please, 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 stay. Oh, did it hit? I don't know if it hit. I mean, it's okay, dude. I mean, listen. I was gonna say, at least we're not, at least we're like in the middle of the pack. <laughs> but then we just finished all the way at the bottom, man. What a fat L, dude. That's a really good helmet, though. It is, like, stat-wise, it is probably better, but I'm not gonna take it since I have the three set for, for, uh, for leather, right? I think that that is the single, like, best caster helmet, though. And Jägermeister needs it as well, right? Hat is great, you should take it. It's El Abyss. Should I take it? What does Jägermeister have? Let me check. He has Artemis Cowl. Oh, you don't even have like a Boomkin thing or what? Yeah, it's kind of like the, the caster of Artemis Cowl. Yeah, he, he's, he's here for caster loot, obviously. Hmm... You know what? I, I have a caster helmet. He doesn't. I'm gonna pass for him, okay? I'll, I'll pass for him. He's in the guild. I, I, I want to respect uh, my guildies, mate. I'll just uh, let him have it. I, I lose hit percentage. It's fine. I'll just pass. It's okay. Like, for me, like, I'm, I'm kind of just prepping anyway for level for level 40. And this has I intellect on it, which is good for PvP and for leveling, right? So, I'll just keep this. It's fine. Okay. Let's go. Do you even need the hit? Probably not, but it's all good. It it's both melee and spells though, so it could help for my leveling too if I want to do that. I when when I gotta level, I guess. Goose are passing in loot, just wait till no more again comes around. Hey, I'm not that unethical as you guys uh, make me to be, okay? I'm not this I'm not this evil villain. Am I? Look at the Murloc has. This thing is actually pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. 17 nature spell. It's a shame that it doesn't work with the... Uh, with Lava Burst though. Since Lava Burst is my, my big one, right? Yeah, I like the dual wheel for double oil, right? It's really nice. You say that when the loot drops. Okay, dude. Hey, man. I'm, I'm, I play WoW, dude. I like loot. What can I say? Ain't nothing wrong with that, dude. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um. Okay, those Nagas are the worst trash in history for melee. Yeah, because they keep doing the, the Frost Nova, right? It's really obnoxious. It's, it's kind of like a pain in the butt to deal with, but that's how it goes. And they disarm as well. Yeah, that's true. You're doing pretty decent on the tanking, though, Rantaplan. It's going nice. Good job. Me over MS over OS. Yep. Epic stuff's gonna be one of the last one. I'll be glad you have your three piece. Cobium. Okay, bro. I'm ethical, boys. Mark me. The only thing I don't like, though, is the five minute uptime on, like, Rockbiter. It, it, it feels so bad. Look look at the entire mana, though, of everybody when I, when I pop Shamanistic Rage. Isn't that crazy? They just all get mana. But I really don't like that it's like a 5 minute cooldown, or like 5 minute buff. It feels kind of shitty. Almost two year punk. Yo, Nervon, thank you for the 22 months, man. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
do 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 yeah thank you so much for all the subs guys I really appreciate it y'all i'm gonna try to eso all buffs are like six to eight seconds and yeah, that seems like a pain in the butt it is at that point is it even a buff it's more like just like a like an active skill almost all right like i don't i don't consider slice and dice being a buff for instance right slice and dice is like an ability but like rock biter is a buff I know. I guess it depends on the, the duration if I think it's a buff or not. Okay. Apparently, five minutes buffs pog. Holy, we love five minute buffs, don't we? I'm actually excited to play that dungeon crawler this uh, Friday. It's gonna be fun. Except those ESO things are just buffs, so annoying. Oh, they are just buffs. Okay. Get some mana mates. Get ready to juice this guy up. Hi, Tony Chance. Good to see you. 15 seconds. Let's go. Chop offs are fine if there's a mechanic that in some cinema just spam them. Are they really powerful? I agree. Yeah, I agree with that. Five, four. Hey, okay. Respect the pull timer. Okay. Do a little bit of auto attacks here. We send it with another one. I don't think this is gonna come through, is it? Maybe? Oh, big damn boys! Let's give some mana region to the boys. There we go, because I see you guys are struggling with some mana. He's not gonna. When is he doing it? There it is. Ho, ho, ho. Dude, I still love myself a good old juicy, amazing lava burst. Okay. Let's send it here. There we go. I mean, nothing horrible on Badouche now. Alright, it's okay. I'm definitely looking forward to. Ooh, hey, hey. Uh, a lot more forward to it in, in phase two, though. That's when it's gonna be real nice. Dude! How did you get died that fast? Oh, guys, watch out! Guys, 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 guys! What is happening? Jesus! Holy shit! The March of the Murlocs! God damn! <laughs> okay. A little bit demonic, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with some uh, some action. There we go, boys. I mean, pretty decent damn, though. Dude, you almost died. I'm gonna heal you. 80 damage. DBS. That's a really good chest, dude. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, I can rest people, I forgot. Kasei got it, grabs to Kasei, man. Another day, another demonic raid. What are you on about? God. There we go. It's not demonic raid. Nothing is demonic in here, guys. Um, all right. Uh, I'm so sorry, chat. I'm like trying to like, respond to some stuff as well here. Okay, are we good to go here, boys? Uh, let's do a pull timer. Fire, blood, and steel. Five, four, three. She resisted my lever burst. I. 
that's just a bad day, man. That's a bad day, dude. What? I don't like that, man. I don't like that at all. Okay. Okay. There it is. You know what's worse? Homunculi resist? Ah, that's pretty shitty as well. those oh, I should have kicked uh, that instead okay let me just get some mana before boss comes because now we're just regening our mana right resist the overload you would think I wouldn't get that many resist with uh, how much hit I have attack there, I guess. there we go I can definitely feel the power more on my warrior than my shaman. For sure. But I think it'll change. I I, I know I'm kind of coping, chat. Like it's it's like hyper Kobe while I play my shaman, but I really think that uh, it'll have big potential for next phase. Okay. Can I get one lava burst off? Here it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, we almost beat Brick. We beat Brick. Yeah, frick you, Brick. Another fist of the wind drop. No shot. Look at Penny Moo. Yo, dude. It actually dropped. It actually dropped. You have it. Off spec? Dude. Holy shit. Yeah, he got... Yeah, Penny was in the last run, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, you... Yeah, stop, stop, stop. Stop, uh, it can shout. Dude, grass to Jägermeister. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Brain, forget. Damn, that's massive. 200x when if you're in next phase. Dude, it might be tight. It might be time. I'm never seeing it. It'll drop one day. I believe, mate. One day you'll get it. And it's gonna be the happiest day of your life. There we go. I mean, I like the shaman stuff, honestly. I'll definitely stick to him as elemental, though. I think unless two-handed ends up being fucking insane. Like, if two-handed enhancement ends up being fucking ridiculous, then I'll play that. But if not, then we're definitely gonna be an Illus Shaman. Pommeler might, might pop off? Yeah, maybe. ICC run back when? I don't know what I'll do with ICC and stuff. I want to do Ruby Sanctum, though. Because, I mean, when... When is the... In the 8th? The 8th is next Thursday. So next Thursday, I'm gonna be, uh... I'm gonna be sending it with a sword phase 2, right? I'm gonna be going really hard with that. Crazy Molly, what's up, man? Happy Monday, Gazoo and chat. Gazoo happy. Happy Monday to you too, Crazy. Thank you for the 7 months. Appreciate it. There's rumors that warriors are getting Titan script. I really hope, don't hope that's true. I don't think Titan script uh, is very Parker's personally. Like when I was a kid, I was like, you know, Park Champ, you know, Titan script. But I don't know. I just feel like it makes it feel like so not cool to have two handers. You know, I just want one big two hander. That's it, right? And if I want to go Fury, then I go dual wield with with one handers, right? So, personally, I do not hope they do Titan Script. Two big two-handers? Yeah, but, like, I don't know. Because, like, it makes it makes playing arms with one two-hander kind of meh, because you can just have two two-handers. And it also makes single-minded fury kind of meh as well. Because, 
you know, just get two handers, right? That's actually not a bad ring, by the way. Titan's Crib would be the lamest rune they could add. I think there's a lot more cool stuff they could definitely add. I don't, really, I can't really think of anything on top of my head, but definitely think there, there could. I would hope for something else, right? Heroic leap for PvP would be sick, bro. If Warrior gets heroic leap, they will literally be monsters in PvP. Like, dude, you already have Warbringer. Warriors would literally be unstoppable, man. Like, imagine a warrior being able to charge in combat and have a heroic leave with a fucking might of Menethil just juicing it on you, man. Like, holy crap. Any chance we'll get another Guzu healer? I'm not sure. We'll see. One more mob. I guess the warrior can get rage on this guy. Alright. May the loot be forever in your favor, guys. Oh, there's one more boy. Why are you asking me if I pooped today? That's a weird question. What the fuck? I feel like you're talking shit because I see your smile already when you st will top meters on your warrior. Bro, I'll top meters no matter what, dude, because that's just what I do. Alright, I top the meters and I pop off. That's it, dude. You gotta promote for Crusader Strike EU Realm. The population is medium now, I fear it's gonna die. Well, I'm literally playing on the server right now. I mean, my, my main character is on the server. Yeah, respect the pull timer, please, guys, okay? Please respect the pull timer. Don't go in before the pull timer goes. I'm hecking tired of it. Four, three, two, Who one. Who dares disturb my meditation? Okay. There we go. Send that, there we go. Oh, I'm Fortnite zoning, you guys. Wait, I should be with these guys over here. Yeah, I'm hella Fortnite zoning them, guys. Okay, so I, I should stay back. Because I'm a ranged Andy, right? I didn't mean to Fortnite, you guys. Sorry. I'll just stay back here and be a good caster. Okay, guys? Eep. Dispel, please. Dust, dust. Oh my god, he got dusted. Oh, cha 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 do 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 do. Uh, can we we need to kick? Make sure we kick, chat, guys. Yeah, kicking is good. We like kicking. Uh, am I standing in? Like, I need to be close for the thing, man. But because now I can't flame shock. I think I need to be with melee, dude. Are we wiping? No, chat. Guys, there's no way we're wiping. We need to, like, get him out of this, this stuff, by the way. Get him out of the zone. No, no, just, yeah, just... Don't, don't run, don't run from him. Don't run from him. Oh, my God. I'm healing myself. I'm just keeping myself alive. You know what? I'm healing, healing, I'm healing. I'm an healer now. Oh, shit, you died. Okay. Summerwind, I'm gonna keep you alive. You will never die on my, on my watch. I'm now a healer. Kaze? I got you, bro. I got you. You dust, want some heals? Dust. There you go. There you go. Nope. Warrior. No, 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 no. Someone went. Don't die. I got you, homie. Dust. Dust. No. Dust. No. No. Kill him, dust, boys. Dust. Oh, are we actually wiping? <laughs> dust. 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 Okay, guys, it's very important we kick the casts, okay? It's very important we kick the cast, guys. Alright, that's very, very important, alright? Eh, eh. <laughs> Shit. Bro.
rogue. All right, I'll stay with melee and I'll help. Uh, I'll help kicking a little bit. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's you know, chat. It happens to anyone. It dust can to happen dust. to anyone. All right. Yeah, we don't want both rogues to go down, guys. Uh, it's the closest target to the boss that goes down. Yeah, yeah, and I'll stack with the boys, okay? Oh my god. Guys, it happens. It can happen to literally anyone. Okay, it, it is what it is. It is what it goddamn is. That's how it goes, boys. Flower Piff, thank you for the gift of sub, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that very much. It happens a lot in your pucks. No, it doesn't. Don't worry about it. He POM instead of the spilling. Timber 2 flash heal. Oh my god. Uh, we farmed a lot of hate watchers in that raid, didn't we? In the, in the hardcore BFD. Yeah, we, we definitely hardcore farmed some hate watchers there. Gazoo is dead. Who would have thought? Okay, dude. What's that supposed to mean? God damn it, chat. I can't believe this guild run isn't smooth sailing. Are you earth shocking? Well, I was with range. Hey, Penny, don't goddamn put this on me, Penny. We got two rogues. All right. We got two goddamn rogues, dude. Unbelievable, Penny. Low CD kick, by the way. I was with the casters, you bozo. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, chat. Your healers tipped $10. Standing in shadow crash is bad. Yeah. That is very true. That is, th that is very true. I'll go with the melee this time, okay? Come here and stack with range. Bro, I can't earth shock then. I cannot earth uh, flame shock from here. I'm going to be with range, but just a little bit closer, okay? So I can do my rotation okay? Alright, we ready, guys? I cannot believe I'm doing a ready check for BFT. Yeah, don't have both melee, don't have both rogues go in. Yo, Cuss, thank you for the seven, 14 months. God damn it, dude. Five. Four. Three, two, okay. one. Who dares disturb my meditation? There we go. So I'm, I'm a caster, Andy, dude, okay? There we go. One rogue is down now, but that's fine. I feel like I would want to be in melee for optimal damage, though. Alright. Fortnite zone is over there. Yeah, melee is way more way more nice. I'm gonna be in melee. Okay guys, welcome to stream. Today's schedule is wrapped in for 30 minutes. But it becomes two hours. Then extend a one hour raid into three hours. There might be some variety after that. Okay, but I would dude. be hella tired. Enjoy. Dude, I've literally done so much for Shut up, Eric! Stop drinking. <laughs> Shut the front door, man. Oh my god. That's unbelievable, actually. Oh, he's about to use it. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh, dispel me. Thank you. Okay, I'm doing insane damage, guys. We're actually popping off like crazy right now. Good shit. 
Popping off, let's go. Big damage. Here it is. Oh my god. There we go, guys. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. No deaths. What do you get? Fetish. This looks like, like a shaman thing. Well, we already have all these things. We don't need any of that. There we go. Boys, easy clap. We have one more boss to kill. That damage was insane, chat. Absolutely crazy. Defox, thank you for the 26 months. Uh, 26, 26 months. Thank you for the 26 view raid. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Welcome in, guys. I hope you had a good stream, Defox. You want to do four? You want to parse on the candle? Okay. Am I playing Resident Evil today? Uh, what? No. You got DMF from Malkor? Easy clap, man. Nice, good shit. Are you ready to go, boys? Let's send it. Four candles. Yeah, we need we need brick to uh, to pop off. So uh, let's go. Brick, do your thing, man. There you go, man. Was this all four? Really? Did die so fast? Have a good stream. Thank you very much, and thank you for the raid, dude. I love it when Gusu makes a Gusu puck and then he rushes into the boss yelling demon time. That has literally never happened. <laughs> that has never happened. I never ran into the boss yelling demon time. Get them. And we have so good burst. Like, Lava Burst is so much damage. But outside the Lava Burst, we just don't really do much, man. And I'm really hoping that with Phase 2, that's gonna be uh, all changed, right? It's demon time. Lava Burst waiting room? It, it basically is Lava Burst waiting room playing Shaman right now. That's pretty much it. Okay. Do, 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 do. But with phase 2, it's gonna be good. But there's just the most powerful Elder Shaman in the entire realm. He will be, trust me. You send some good loot here? Let's see, man. Uh... Uh, okay. In is the realm dono is the in the realm dono, but the most powerful in this party he sure is. Well, I'm the only shaman in this party, so I got them. I hope I'm the get I'm the best one. I will give you streamer luck with loot, Dibbert. All right. Gonna take this bozo down, boys. Mm mm mm. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I should be precasting a lightning bolt actually. I'm kind of griefing a little bit. Yeah, I should definitely should be precasting pre lightning bolt. Okay. And maybe we should swap back to Searing Totem once in a while. What? Was there a chicken? Breath incoming. Oh no, I'm casting. I can't move. It's not my fault. I didn't get hit. Easy clap. How do I take the... How do I have that? There's nothing I have that much threat, right? Breath incoming. Yeah, I guess we want to min-max our lava burst as much as possible. But I want to weave in like some Fire Nova totems. It does seem like it's worth, but... Yeah. Go. I mean, we're doing 100 DPS per second, which is you know, not Great horrible, incoming. but also not very great, let's be honest. Let's get some mana back. Okay, get ready to cleanse yourself. Cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Number one. Hey, Eshel, thank you for the three months. 
Did I time it? <laughs> I didn't. LOL! Okay. Don't kill my fire noble totem, please. Here it is! Oh! Good stuff. That's what we like to see. Can we leave those up for 8 seconds so I can attack them one more time? Okay. Oh shit, I'm taking this right in the front, aren't I? Oh, I griefed again, actually. I need to never shock. Like, never earth shock for like a little extra damage. We always need to uh, flame shock. Hey, can we catch up on that rogue? I'm trying to catch up to a tank in DPS. How sad is this? Okay. Giving people some shamanistic rage? Oh my god. There is ads everywhere. Oh shit. Kill this boss as soon as possible, man. That rogue is gonna die. Yep. Breath incoming. Oh gosh. I keep getting pushbacks from those little abozos as well. Here it is, guys. Clean raid, eh? What do we get? I already have that, dude. We we almost we, we did beat the rogue. We almost beat the hunter as well, guys. Like, I swear, when we get to raid on Badouche in phase two and no more again, we will always be on top. Always. He did die. That is true. Uh, there you go. Good luck on loot, guys. Some streamer luck is in play. It ain't the best. Okay, but the boot knife, uh, you can definitely use though. Oh, Jibbert, grats. Can I join Nomer on my Frost Mage? Of course. Thank you for the raid though, guys. It was very clean, very smooth. You know, we had a few hiccups. But... Uh, <laughs> we, we, you know, we can't win them all. We can't really win them all. You know what I mean? It was good for me though, so thank you for sharing your good luck with me. Of course, of course. Thank you for the raid, guys. Thank you for the raid. Didn't get any loot, sadly, but uh, we acquired friendship. Why are you killing the dwarf, man? What the hell did he ever do to you? Only boss where it's acceptable to die is Gamura. Gamura is the hardest boss, actually. He, he genuinely is. Speak, friend. Yeah. Aren't you nearly full biz? On most of my characters, I'm kind of happy with where the loot is right now. Like, I'll probably do one or two more BFDs on my Rogue, and then one more BFD on my Warrior with the five-man meme we want to do, right? I want to try to see if we can five-man BFD on the Warrior. Uh, like the full goddamn whole thing, right? But I think... I'm in, I'm in a good spot with all the gear. A little bit more gear... With uh, with Guswaldu, and then I'm I'm kind of good on my characters then, man. Oh, runes are you missing? On my shaman, I'm missing the healing rain, which I probably should get honestly before phase two. Yeah. How the fuck is SOD still level twenty five? Honestly, I don't know, man. It it's been quite a while, obviously. I'm so sorry, we did really good. I'm so sorry. Bring the argument of Crumble versus Fold again. You want to start a chat war or something like that? Is, is that it? BFD, like everything in Classic and SOD, is my Eastern Alliance. You would have formanded last week with a Paladin. I think... I, I What I want to do on the Warrior is I want to do, like, a five-man BFD full clear with no will buffs. I think that'd be really fun to try. Just full, organic, raw, five-man team, clear all of BFD. Definitely possible. I think it is. Like a full, organic one. Just super smooth. And then, and then I want to have one more pumper raid on the warrior. All right? I'd rather see three-man with buffs. I don't think it's possible to three-man it. Yeah, no way. You could maybe four man with full will buffs, but it's still pushing it on Akumai. Did you get Shadowmorn yesterday? I did, dude. I did get Shadowmorn. Really happy about it, man. 
Where will Horde have Hearthstone in order to close us to no more again? Oh, everybody's stressing out about no more again? Bro. Take the fly path to Ratchet. Take the boat to Booty Bay. And there's a teleport on Booty Bay. If you want to have the fastest possible way to get to no more again, put your Hearthstone to Booty Bay. There is a teleporter in Booty Bay that takes you literally into the dungeon, pretty much. Yeah. Maybe they removed the teleport? Ain't no way, homie. There's no way they're removing it. If they if there was no teleporter, bro, like, you would have to run all the way up from STV or, like, run all the way up from Arathi Highlands or Kargath. Nah. There, there's no shot. The teleporter will be camped. Probably, yeah, probably. The teleport pad is going to be an absolute shitfest of PvPers. There's no way WoW players would sit and camp that, right? No. There's, I don't believe that. No, there's no way they would do that. that. There's no way. I've had my Hearth as Alliance and Arborine and Darkshore this entire phase. Horde can put theirs a BB. Yeah, they probably will. All right. Are you going to hand in the buff now, Jibbert? Actually, maybe I would want to yank the buff on my warrior. Well, hold on, where is my warrior at? He's in Thunderbluff. Uh... Oh, I'm already due stop on my warrior. Yeah, we're good to go. Because I, I, wa I want to get, like, I want to get... For phase one, as I said, for raids, I want to do for the remainder of phase one. I want to do one five-man raid on the warrior, and then one juicer big... Big, big, thick, like, amazing raid. And then maybe just two on the rogue. That's it. We're pretty much done with phase one raiding almost. Yeah. I know it's you. You paid Kilris not to drop the staff and you're gatekeeping me. I think you're losing your mind, Brick. 